All right. All right, let's get it. All right, what's up, everyone? It's UA from the Strictly Broken, blah, 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 Strictly Broken Twitch stream today doing the, we're on episode four of the Best Ever Wish for Set Review Show with my constant co-host, this beautiful, beautiful gentleman, uh, Tom, below me. Tom, introduce yourself. How's your day, man? I'm doing well, I'm doing well. No COVID. Give me my second no shot next Monday. Woo. Boom. Big thumbs up to you. Good for taking that kind of initiative. But who cares about you, to be honest? Because today we got a very, very special guest. Anime Evo champion himself. This is Kevin from Wow Wow West. A good friend of mine. What's up, man? How's your day, David? Pretty good, man. Unlike Tom, I can't get the COVID shot in Canada. But, you know, just chilling at home all day. <laughs> fair enough fair enough you know who's the real winner here come on <laughs> feels bad man <laughs> we don't have to pay for our covid shots in canada i didn't pay for mine either oh it's, it's biden diff bro exactly biden diff. <laughs> <laughs> all right everyone all right everyone N nice to have you on the show kevin appreciate it kevin actually does a lot of the translation work works together with one of our sponsors ways tea time to uh actually bring the show to you guys in a very timely manner so kevin is actually the man with the plan behind the scenes working with waste tea time a lot of the time too so shout outs to you and shout outs to waste tea time without you and your support the show would not be possible you know waste tea time is a blog waste tea time dot wordpress dot com i use it myself i can't read a word of japanese i got like 20 percent on my japanese midterm in university and then i just dropped the course it was a big a but uh <laughs> Yeah, so for people like me, for people as dumb as I am, or, you know, maybe not even as dumb as I am, you know, languages are hard. Uh, Wasty Time is super useful because she translates all of the part of the days into English for you um, to read. So that's super cool. Also, shout outs to our other sponsor, Nova TCG, who, uh, you know, is one of the top premier choices for uh, Japanese way short singles in North America. Actually, may I dare say the premier choice. Uh, I shop on Nova for all of my Japanese way shorts. Uh, a lot of my friends do. I always recommend them. They are super transparent, good customer service, good prices. You know, I visit them all the time when I need Japanese. And uh, yeah, uh, they provide support for the, you know, after the show, we do do play testing and stuff. They, 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 they support us by providing us with all the cards and everything. Shout out to them. Finally, you know, self plug, Strictly Broken TCG. You need English singles, know where you go. Daddy UA store. Let's get it. All right. Simply broken TCG. <laughs> uh, all right. So, yeah, those are the sponsor shout outs. Um, one more thing. I know a lot of you guys are here for this. I did say in the post that we're going to be giving away a free Idol Master shiny colors playset. And that is definitely not, definitely not clickbait. Shout outs again to Nova for providing that. Basically, what's going down is we're going to have a very very this is the you know leaked announcement of a very special stream we're doing it will be a special uh unit unit conquest format stream we'll have two very distinguished players duke it out draft out their units play against each other in a best of five winner will figure out prizing and stuff we don't want to leak too much but uh yeah and if you tune into that stream the Auto Master Shiny Colors Conquest Battle Stream will be entered in a chance to win a free Auto Master Shiny Colors playset. Uh, the date is not announced, but it's going to be within the next two weeks. Definitely tune into that stream. Make sure your calendars are marked. If you're tuned in, you have a chance to win a free $300, $400 playset. I'm going to be entering. I'm not the one playing, so I can enter, but uh, you know, I probably won't. I mean, have you seen my cancels on stream? Um, yeah, so that that's that. That's that housekeeping business. Uh, and uh, without further ado, let's get started on the best ever way short set review show, episode four, Assault Lily. Before I get into the set, I do want to say we have a five-star rating system for this show. It's a one, two, three, four, or five-star now uh you know things tend to be a little bit confusing sometimes when we just give an empty star rating so we try to define these stars for you guys 
for us a one star card is a card that pretty simple to describe it just sucks you're never playing it it's in there the cardboard is more valuable than the card uh, yeah a two star card is a card that uh can see play but is very replaceable uh you know, we of like runners oversizes that kind of stuff so many ch ways to replace them or it's a card that's just very techy for a specific format that uh isn't op but needs to be played because way shores you need to answer certain threat at all that's a two star rating a three star rating is a rating that we give in the original review for when we do not know uh what is going on with the card we're we don't want to give too much of a conclusion on it we're not sure it looks strong it looks weak but we're not sure so we give it a three and then in the re-review it can re reposition a four star rating card is a good card uh typically uh four star rating cards yeah we feel solid about the rating uh and uh you're probably gonna play them in decks where they apply and uh, are able to fit in so very generic rating and finally five star card makes me you know need i need to go to the bathroom when i see these cards because my <laughs> pant is soaking wet you know so like <laughs> my pant is so yeah five star cards are exciting they're set defining they're really special and uh it makes you want to build the set it makes you uh yeah makes you uh it's just so unique and special or powerful you know powerful tends to be a reason for why a card is very special so that's the rating system kevin do you want to say anything before we get started Sorry, what I, was I cut out for a sec? Kevin, mm -hmm. can you hear me? I'm Do you want to say yeah, anything before we yeah. get started? Before we get started? Uh, buy from Simply Broken TCG. And let's get it started. <laughs> Tom, do you want to say anything before? Actually, I don't care what you have to say. Anyways, let's I get Simply Broken TCG. Let's get started, boys and girls. Woo. Get straight into it. So first up, we're going to do trial deck cards. You know, so Lily, Lily does have a trial deck, and we must review some of the Dude. most potent ones handpicked by the gentleman above my head. Handpicked by him, so if he misses out on an important one, blame him, not me. Cool. <laughs> Anyways, without further ado, we got this 1-0 Riri. If you have two or more other Lily characters, it gets plus 1,000 power, making it a 5-5 five -five based body. Climax combo, when the gate climax uh is in the climax area and this card reverses its battling opponent you may salvage one this is a marka from 2021 20, yeah it's pretty small only 5500 uh six five with the cx but there is a card that works with this in the booster that we'll go over later on oh shoot yeah All it's right. like a high. a lot of uh sets these days have like some kind of searcher for your combos now. Start, starting with Stern Pocket, this this set will also have a, a way to search specifically this combo. So we'll go over that later. Uh, but base value wise, this card doesn't write home much. It's serviceable as like a budget option. So it's like at best like a two. Yeah, I'm down for that. Sounds reasonable to me. Yeah, on a door. So it's a plus. Plus in trigger, always nice. All right, next up, 2-2 two, two, Mai. TD cards are fairly simple. Might rush through them pretty quick. For each of your other Lily characters, it gets plus 1,000 power. It's pretty standard standby target, I think. Yep. 2-2 two, two, 11k. If you need 11k, it's nice. It's just a 2. Yeah. Pretty basic. Next up, 3-2 UU. Uh, for each of your other Lily characters, it gets plus 500 power, capping it at 11,000 500 power with a full board, and then it's a heal on play. So just like the TD combo, this also has another card that boosts this up some more. But without that, this card is honestly just, you, you know, it's just generic 11-5 healer. Uh, yeah, I, probably most valuable in a standby list, I would, I would think. Yeah, just throw one, go next. Yeah. Uh, depending on the support, it might be a two. Okay, one for now. Depending on support, it yeah. might be. Tune in for the next up. One zero Shen Lin. Rest one of your other standing Lily characters during the turn that this is placed on stage from hand. When this card's battle opponent is reversed, you may pay the cost. And when it reverses the battling opponent, you may put the top card of your deck into. It's 
card's pretty good? Question mark? I think it's like, it's pretty alright. As like a filler attacker. Yeah, green filler attacker that generates you some resource. I think it's always yeah. good. And it's like always going to be, it, it always has the effect live. There's no like condition as far as like you need to use an act or you need to uh, have a climax. So uh, it's just small, a little small. Cause it's just 5k but yeah the only unfortunate part is like compared to ones that requires act you, you can't like gain stocks from using backups on your turn on your opponent's turn oh that's true yeah but as a stock gen you know just generic stock gen this card's pretty good probably sits it's... at a three yeah i think it's solid next up two one tazisa when you use this card's backup if you have another lily character big condition choose one of your battling characters it gets Plus 1,000 power. It's also a 2,500 power back. Uh, 2,500 power backup. So 3,500 total. Uh, yeah. So the set has a lot of different kind of backups. A 35 one is always nice if you're trying to win board. But I'm not quite sure if the set wants to win boards on defense a lot. But if it ends up going that way, then this card can be quite good. Yeah, it's probably more relevant than the standby like that, list, right? Uh oh. Hello, Kevin. Oh, Kevin. No oh. lag there. Alberta internet. Uh. Oh, yeah, Alberta internet. Can't yeah. Canadian internet. Sorry, yeah, I agree uh, with the two. I just wanted to comment that yeah. it's more valuable in a standby list, maybe. Yeah. Next up, zero zero Riri and Yu Yu. Uh, discard a climax when this card is placed. You may ditch a climax to salvage a Lily character. This ability activates up to twice per turn. When your other Lily character is placed on stage from hand, uh, this card gets plus 1,000 power, making it 3,500 power. Um, it's pretty generic. I, it's like a, this is like a pretty decent costless discard outlet, and the second effect is pretty irrelevant, but um, this is mm. fine. It's not too relevant. It doesn't really stand out too much. So it's just like a generic two. Yeah. Next up, one zero Kaide. This card attacks. Choose one of your characters, and it gets plus twenty five hundred power. So it can right. also pump itself. So if you don't need to, to get the power, it sits. It swings at five five with vanilla stats. Uh, this is fine. It's good if you run yeah. like on first level one combo. That two five power can make a difference. Yeah. But besides uh, that, yeah. Otherwise, probably not that. Yeah. You'll know. If, you know. If, you know if you need this card. You you, you probably run this if you run the TD Riri. Yeah. Yeah. But I would say probably a two. Yeah, just a two. Yeah. Next up, one one Fumi. If you have two or more other Lily characters, it gets plus two thousand power and hand encore. And when this card attacks, if you have another Lily character, this turn it gets plus 1500 power? This seems rude. Huh? This. So it's just a 7 5. With... It's a 7 5 handle core that gets like 9k on attack. Gets to be 9k on attack. Wait, that's actually is... really good. Yeah, this is good for. This is a good standby level one. Standby. Holy, that's a, that's a really good standby target. The, the only caution, like... the only caution is if you don't have, if you don't, like the power and the encore are tied in the same condition. So if you don't have enough characters, it's GGs. Oh, but okay. There's, there's written a bit mistake. wrong. It's, it's actually seven, fifteen. Eight. It's not seven five. We are liars. It's not. The, it's okay, a so bit... seven. Oh, okay. So one one seven k. Okay. So seven k on defense, eight five offense. It's actually pretty good. It's not bad, yeah. One of the better. 7, 7k is on defense is kind of bad against mirrors, and your opponent can't. 7k is more of a common stat line for combos to hit for non standby decks as well. That's true. But but you yourself are able to beat uh, other standby one ones. So I don't really know how to rate this. It's probably a two. Generics, maybe three. Would you run this? Uh, maybe. Over like a yeah. generic seven five. Yeah, 
I think it's one of those hard. hard. To judge. This is yeah. hard. Yeah, I don't know. Probably give it a three for like. I think a three. Is pretty, it it yeah. can go down to a two most likely, but. Sounds good. Yeah, sorry, chat. It was not plus two thousand power pump. It's plus fifteen pump to get the ability. UK would make it actually kind of broken. But uh, next up, two one Fumi. It's a level assist, and it has when your climax is placed on the climax area. You may look at the top card of your deck, put it on top, or send it to waiting room. Uh, surveil. I do say so myself. Then choose one of your Lily characters, and it gets plus one thousand power. Um. It's all right. Level I, assist. I, that's two. Level two, though. That, that is true. It, it's like who. I feel like if you play level assist, it has to do more than this to be good, or even be playable, honestly. Yeah, and the scries, wow. like, there, there's a lot of ways to scry in the set, so the scry effect it doesn't really do much. It's, it's yeah. probably like a one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. Up three, two, Riri. When this card is placed on stage from hand, Get up to X cards from the top of your deck. Choose one and add it to hand. X equals the number of your other, no, number of your Lily characters, not other. So if this is the only card, you can at least look at one. Pay two, discard one. When this card attacks, you may pay cost. If you do, deal one damage to it. Um, this is like a, these are some pretty, like, these are pretty simple effects. I think it's like a off climax finisher that, that can like, mm -hmm. Help you Unfortunately, find it's not like a. It. Hmm? It's not. It's not like a. What's it called? The Lisbeth from Sal. We where it's ditch two to burn one. Pay right. to ditch one ends up being a pretty hefty uh, cost. Yeah, I think I agree with that. This also, I think salvage on play is also much better than check top X usually. But I think it's one of the few check top X in the set. So. Oh, if you need I see. a check top X. Yeah, then this is your option. Fair enough. Yeah. There's also a card that interacts with this. We'll go over later. Mm -hmm. But for now, we'll, we'll set it, let us set it too. Gotcha. Next up, 1 0 event. Uh, typical look at up to four cards, choose a Lily character, add it to hand, send the rest away. If you okay. need mail. Yeah. Good too. Yeah. TD card. If you have two or more other Lily characters, it gets plus 500 power and plus one level. And it clean cuts. So clean cut is when uh, this card's battling. Opponent is reversed. You use one of your other Lily characters. Front row rested and uh, in the back. The you. Uh, yeah, this doesn't seem big enough. enough. Yeah, being 2500, even if you have the extra level, doesn't matter too much. When you're playing clean cut, you want to reverse. So it's it's pretty small. Yeah. I... Yeah, I don't even the clean cuts are usually powerful, but this one doesn't seem powerful. Yeah, I don't think you Probably. play this. It's just too small. Yeah. In... I don't think it's bad enough to warrant a one, so probably just to be a two. Yeah. Clean cuts is always relevant at one point. Yep. Zero zero Miriam. Hey one ditch one. Search your deck for a Lily character, very simple. Yeah, just drop searcher. Drop search okay. two. It's a two, yeah. It's a two. It's a two. Next up, two, two, Miriam. Uh, for each of your other Lily characters, it gets plus 1,000 power. And it has, at the start of your Encore step, if you do not have any other rested characters in your front row, you may pay cost if you do rest this. Whoa, I'm so sorry, chat. I uh, tried that. It's uh, Liz. It's actually exactly like Liz, right? Yeah, exactly like Liz. Same, same yeah. uh, on course effect. Solid two two for a standby deck, Solid I think. Two two, but is it better than like the tank, the eleven K we saw before? Yeah, I think so. Okay, then we'll, we'll, so, we'll, we'll I mean, like, yeah. But this this profile is. I gotta talk about this a bit. Cause it's a sow card. It, it, it's pretty bad in multiples. Like pretty horrible in multiples. Yeah, that's that's the worst. That's part. true. It is bad in multiples. Like a lot of times you can't get the effect off if your opponent just answered this and doesn't answer both. Or if they answer both, but you can't encore both. Reading? Two? Like a two? Oh, two. Two, two. Two, yeah. two for two. Uh, next up, 
Ritu, Riri, and Yuyu. Uh, when this card is placed on stage, it heals. Climax combo when this card attacks. If you have the Pants Climax in the Climax area, look it up to two cards from the top of your opponent's deck. Choose up to two cards from among them, put them on top of your opponent's deck in any order, and send the rest to waiting room. And this turn, it gets plus 1000 power. So Mocha is a TD combo now. <laughs> Um, Unfortunately, this one doesn't rearrange your deck as well, so yeah. you don't get that trigger, trigger stacking. That is true. Uh, so, it's definitely worse than Mocha, but it's free. It is a good budget option as well. Uh, probably a two? Yeah, probably give it a two. Yeah. Now, we get straight into the set. Not, I, I feel like we don't really need to take an intermission. TD cards, we only need a few of them. That doesn't have yellow. Pushing right into green. Get it going. Yeah, are you with me? Hope you're with me. <laughs> you guys, are you with me? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. First up, zero, 00 Shen Lin. Double R. When this card is reversed, if the battling opponent's level is zero, you may send that character to clock. Put your opponent's top card. Clock into waiting room. Clock bomb. And auto pay one. Put the top card of your deck into clock. When this card is sent from stage to waiting room, you may pay the cost. If you do, look at up to two cards from the top of your deck. Choose up to two Lily characters from among them. Show it to your opponent. Add the hand. Send the rest to waiting room. Pay one plus two. Kind of sick. Yeah. Uh, it is sick if you hit on both cards. Um, if you don't, it's kind of bad because it's super um unspecific it's very random but yeah, i like I... that you like it, it's nice that it has a clock bomb effect yeah clock bomb is pretty nice for a hard removal having a plusing a card that also has a good secondary effect so it's nice yeah uh but the ran yeah indeed the randomness of this uh plusing could be pretty bad because you can't you, it's not like other cards that you clock yourself to get a plus it doesn't give you selectivity so you can't convert mm -hmm. that plus into anything meaningful unless you're lucky mm -hmm. but there is like a level modulation in the set we can modulate your opponent's level so you can actually like clock bomb level ones or level twos with this which is pretty interesting yeah i think you it's a plus that's secondary effect is pretty good i'd probably give it a three yeah yeah the card for the re-review yeah one zero yeah when this card attacks if you have another lily character it gets plus 1500 power uh and then when this card attacks if you have the gold bar climax in the climax area and you have another lily character choose up to one of your opponent's level zero or lower characters then into waiting room, then reveal the top card of your deck if that card is level one or higher, add it to your hand. Uh this is the Hoppo combo from Abyssal. Uh that combo wasn't the greatest. And yeah. this also isn't the greatest. <laughs> well you do have uh, a bunch of top deck manipulations, so you're more likely to hit. And as, That's true. Yeah, and as before, it's level modulations, so you can snipe more stuff than just level zeros. Yes. But um, overall, the quality of plusing is quite low, so it's like, if you're playing this, you might run out of hand. Yeah, you might be stuck with, like, crap cards in your hand that you can't really play or make so, use of so properly. Like, it's pretty much, uh, your opponent runs out of resources, but so do you. <laughs> A bit, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it uh, could see play. I'd probably just give it a two for now, though. Yeah. Next up, three, two, Tazusa. You have four or more Lily characters. This gets minus one level in hand. During your turn, if you have another Lily character, it gets plus 2,500 power and gains the following ability. When this card's battle opponent is reversed, you may send that character to memory. And it has a pay one, uh, not pay one, just discard a card. When this card is placed on stage from hand, you can pay that cost to put a card from the top card of your card, uh, top card of your clock 
into stock. Excuse me. Let me play healer. So it's mesmerizing goddess Aqua. So 11k on turn a stock healer. Being one cost healers are always really nice with easy condition. But on the plus side, this card can also hard move your opponent's characters. Hell yeah. Awesome. It's, it's, yeah. it's real it's it's an it's, understated effect. Not underrated, but like the impact is like really like not like talked about enough, I think. It's like this is definitely relevant. a card you, you play in every every deck, I think. You you have yeah. to force green to play this. Uh hard removal. So good. There's a lot of cards these days that are like two twos or three twos that has high on core. So being able to remove those is also really nice. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd probably give this a four. Yeah. Strong card. Buy these up. This is a card that you know probably should be buying four. Like really doesn't quite make the <laughs> five. I... Oh. Z am I muted? I am not muted. Thank goodness. Zero zero Shen Lin. When a climax with a bar trigger is placed in your climax area, choose one of your opponent's front row characters, and it gets minus one thousand power for. This. It's also a pay one tap self brainstorm. And its hit effect is for each climax hit, you may draw two, ditch one. Uh, I think draw two, ditch one brainstorms have traditionally been pretty inconsistent. It's like pretty. It like goes with the theme of these other green cards we've seen, kind of like random-ish pluses right yeah low selectivity is the problem yeah uh when you, when you brainstorm you hope you're usually hoping to be able to get a specific card but there, there's no selection in this uh if yeah. you're running vents and good climaxes that, that you want to spam out then it's pretty fine but i i don't think the set has that many good events that's unfortunate uh, yeah. The first effect is like is nice, but it also requires you to play bars, which kind of limits how this can be used. Yeah, but even then, I think there's another brainstorm in this set that's just far superior than this. Yeah, I would uh, agree with that. But if you need, if you if you do want to run an event focused deck, then this card is, we'll probably see more play. But for now, it's like a two. Mm -hmm. Who it is? Uh, get that switched up. All right, two it is. Chat saying my volume is still low. Chat, is that true? Uh, I don't know what chat says. Next up, zero zero Tazusa. When this card is placed on stage from hand, look it up to two cards from the top of your deck and put them on, put them back on top in any order. Uh, when this attacks, if you have one or less other characters, you fill one. If that card is a level zero or lower character, place it on the stage in any back row slot. Chat, please let me know if I am quiet. Uh, pretty generic level zero profile. I think it, it possibly pluses you. Uh, yeah. level zero. Uh, top deck manipulation is nice, but as we said, there's other cards in this set that also gives you better top deck manipulation. Not yeah. bad, but you, you already have a bunch of top deck manipulations. Mm -hmm. um, uh, pretty generic, so we'll just give it a two. Yeah, I think it's, I think a two is fair. Moving Plus right along, running. I'll get this adjusted. Next up, zero zero Yuija. When this card is placed on stage from hand mill two, if there is a climax among them, choose one of your opponent's front row characters. Minus one thousand power. Pay one, discard one uh, to salvage a Lily character and pump uh, one of your other Lily characters one thousand power. It's uh. It's also pretty generic. Um, yep. Mill generic. 2 drop salvager. Mill 2 drop salvager. Not as good as the slime one, I think. So, yeah, probably uh, but not. It's, it's always a nice profile to have. Just a yeah. 2. Oh, Yui? I'm Yui? trying to adjust volume. Sorry. Uh, no worries, no worries. Who it is? Uh, it is what it is. I'll, I'll get this fixed eventually, chat. Trust me. I am. Trust me. Believe in me, chat. One zero <laughs> Tazusa. When this card attacks, if you have two or more other Lily characters this turn, it gets plus 2,000 power. When this card attacks, choose one of your other Lily characters this turn, it gets plus X power. X equals that character's soul times 1,000. Uh, This isn't bad. 
like it's a decent power pump that'll attack like pretty high it'll, like it'll be 6k 6.5 when it attacks so it's like not yeah. bad but from other power pumps they usually sit at low numbers but this one's also swing stick so you can win uh, two lanes with this yeah uh good, that said but... it's yeah. just a power pump so like nothing nothing to write home about it, yeah. it's like these just a two these are only so good yeah like a two basically. only so good man just give me so two so quickly. I don't have time to change my mic volume. We're along. One zero Saraha. I'm just gonna yell louder for now. When this card is placed on stage from hand this turn, it gets plus fifteen hundred power. Climax combo with the bar pictured to your bottom right. When this card's battle opponent is reversed, and you have that climax in the climax area, look it up to two cards from the top of your deck. Choose up to two Lily characters from among them. Show them to your opponent and add them to hand. Send the rest to waiting room. On reverse, bar combo. It's a plus two, but your selectivity is weak, just like all the other uh, green cards so far. Uh, it is pretty spicy. We've seen this profile in Yuna, but the most important part about this is that there's other cards that support this combo and another combo. So depending on how good those support are, this this uh, combo could see play. Yeah, uh, this is decently big too, 7k. And the support makes it even bigger, which is nice. Yeah, we'll see those combo. next, I think. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think they're going for like a bar like theme deck here. Yeah, so if you Yeah. So depending on the support, this card could be pretty good. So we'll, we'll just give it a three for now. Yeah. This is like a solid it's definitely just a solid plus in combo. I wouldn't be upset if I had to play a deck with this effect. I don't think you would be either, right? So No. Yeah. All right, sounds good. Three it is. How is my volume chat? I adjust this. It's a little bit better. We'll keep <laughs> going for now. Three, two, you eat, you, you, Gia. During your turn, if you have four or more other Lily characters, it gets plus 5,000 power and gains the following ability. Continuous during this card's battle, your opponent cannot play events or backups from the hand. Second ability, discard a Lily character. When this card is placed on stage from hand, you may pay the cost if you choose a Lily character in your clock and place it on stage in any slot. Uh, this is nice. We haven't like, seen a heal the stage in a long time. Yeah, and they're usually climax combos, which makes them pretty not good. But this doesn't need a climax. It's just on play, which is pretty nice. It's pretty pretty and, sweet. And the first effect is also really nice. It lets you win board consistently. Your opponent can't play events or backups. We've seen these profiles in like Bang Dream a lot. Yeah, that card was good. Like it was played. Back it does then. Play a lot. So, um, right. There are a lot of relevant events and backups to be worried about. So, yeah, my sub yeah. counters are being coming more popular these days. Yes. So something like this is quite good. I I probably give this a three. It, okay. I think you can often you can often uh, argue to put one or, to to have one or two slots for this. Sounds good. Be it is. Uh, first. Uh. <laughs> Do we? Should we just continue? Ash, I think it's fine now. We'll just move on to the next one. Chat, you gotta let me know if the audio is getting better. I think I made a bit of a boo boo earlier. Uh, three, two, Shenlin. When this card is placed on stage from hand, choose up to one of your opponent's characters. Uh, and return it to hand. Then for this turn, this card gets 2,000 power. So bouncer. And then climax combo. Pay to discard two when the goal bar is in play. When this card's battle opponent is reversed, you may pay the cost. If you do, you may send the character in reverse to clock and deal two damage. Um, this is pretty potent as a finisher. And not too expensive because it's on reverse. Yeah, so pay two, ditch two. You only need like five stock at the start of your For attack phase to do double. Yeah. yeah. Uh, unfortunately, the worst part of this is it doesn't have like a good on a play effect. Like having one of this is fine. You can bounce like an assist and then you're big. Mm -hmm. but you don't, the second you bounce don't... is probably not that great. But unfortunately, yeah. it's not like a can trip or anything that can give you something to help pay for your cost or heal. Uh, this is your only uh, bar finisher in the set and there is quite a bit of bar support we'll probably go over later on 
So if you're, if you're looking for like eight bars, this is your this is your only option. Yeah. Uh, for pulling finisher, it's probably just a three. Yeah, I, I mean, and you know, this is because it could be get a lot more valuable because we don't know how good the bar deck is going to be. Yeah, but yeah. Fair enough. Three. It is. Am I am I better? Am I better? I hope I'm better. I'm so sorry. I don't know what's going <laughs> on. I blame I blame John, man. This guy told me my mic would be better. It's not better. You know, I'm gonna deviate the blame to that guy. Next up, zero zero Shenlin. When this card is placed on stage from hand, choose up to one of your opponent's characters, send it to memory. Then your opponent places that character on stage in the slot of their choosing. When this card is placed on stage from hand, choose one of your other Lily characters, and it gets plus two thousand power. Um, the power pump is nice, but I think you'll know. Like, you wouldn't play this if the blink effect weren't useful. So, yeah, this is mainly a meta tech card. Uh, depending if the meta gets rampant with a bunch of uh floating effects, like back in Goblin Slayer days with Priestess. Yeah. But currently, I don't think this finds a space in your deck for yeah, most part. Two K pump is nice always, yeah, but not 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 nice enough to warrant a spot. But it's a T four meta, meta tech. Yep. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right, I'm just testing sound oh at God. this point while we're doing this. Uh, next up, zero zero Yuija. The character across from this cannot move to other slots. And when this card attacks, choose one of your Lily characters, and it gets plus fifteen hundred power. Uh, it's like a chaser. Like, no, no, it's not. It's not. No, a chaser. It's no, like no, no. I mean, like it's a chaser counter or something. It's like a runner slash chaser counter or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like an anti runner. I think most people call it. But it only switch for 3k, so like, yeah, I don't think it's, yeah, it's like standard runners that had 3 5. This card just cannot even like answer those, yeah, unfortunately. Well, at least on the plus side, after like level zero, this card has has the additional use of being able to pump other characters, but still, it's not even the best though. Like, yeah, I, I don't, I don't think this card is good, yeah. These days, your runners are either 3500, you don't play runner, yeah. So this is probably just like a one. Mm -hmm. A one it is. I think that's, we didn't give a lot of one so far, but next up, this zero zero Kasumi, not from Bang Dream, so don't get it twisted. All of your other Lily characters get plus, uh, plus 500 power, so that's a global five. Climax combo, when the bar climax picture below is placed in your climax area. If you have another Lily character, choose one of the two of following effects and you may resolve it. So you can either choose up to two of your opponent's characters, send them to memory, then your opponent places those characters on stage in separate slots of their choosing, or you can choose up to two of your characters and they get plus 1,000 power. I do want to note this climax is the same climax that combos with a climax that we saw, that combos with a combo that we saw earlier, the uh, mill 2-1 if, if I'm correct here, right? The check 2 add 2. Yeah, the the check 2 yeah. add 2, yes. Yeah, so this helps you guarantee, or not guarantee, but it helps you get your reverses. If you're facing against like Aaron combos or overall combos that bounce back to your opponent's hand, you can get remove those effects. If your opponent has like big bodies, you can pump up your combo to A5 now. So this is like one of the supports that makes that gold bar combo better. Yeah, and if you're playing against Dal, you get to remove like horny decks that rely on like uh, cross turn power, it removes that as well. Yeah, so this is actually pretty good, but if it's but is that bar combo good enough? We'll have to see later. Yeah. Uh we'll probably just give this a three. If if the go bar combo is good, it'll go up with the go bar combo, but if the go combo combo is bad, then this will go down with the go bar combo, yeah. For mm -hmm. sure, for sure. Respect that uh analysis there. Next up. Zero zero Shizuka drinking the tea. It's pretty cute. When this card is placed on stage from hand, you may put one card from your hand into stock. Mm. When this card is reversed this turn, you cannot use Encore. I know somebody that loves this kind of effect, but I feel like usually, like I'm usually not a fan. Um, yeah. This is also just a vanilla. 
otherwise. So I, I don't know if it's worth it. It, it. it could be worth it. Not really. At minus one hand, you have plus one stock. You have to have like a deck that pluses you a lot. You also have to have a reason for using that. Like there has to be like a good reason to have that stock, I think, as well. Yeah. I mean the go bar combo does give you a bunch of stock with the Ricky from earlier. But uh I'm a bunch of hand. Yeah. But we, we saw a TD. <laughs> yeah, we, have, we we saw a TD card that gives you more stock for free as well. But you have other ways to build stock in green. Yeah. Probably just it, the one. Yeah, I think so too. To be fair, it does. This this seems like there's a lot of pluses in green. Someone in the chat did mention. Like to be fair, it, it does seem like there is a lot of pluses. There there is. So you That's could true. justify spots for this, but I feel like there's better stock genning cards that aren't tied to a climax in the set, as we saw earlier in the TV. For sure, for sure. Next up, this one zero Tatsuki. It cannot side. And when a climax is placed in your climax area, this gets plus X power until end of opponent's turn where X equals the number of your Lily characters times 500 power, capping it at 7,500 power on a full board. Yeah, it keeps powers cross turn, so that's nice. But besides from that, it doesn't really do a whole much. It needs a climax to be big too, which is not preferable, I think. Even if, it, even if this probably does go in a bar deck, like, I don't think it's a great place for a card like this to be. Because it's just yeah. power at the end of the day. If you find a bar deck, there's a lot of other level ones that will go over later that does synergize this with bar better than this. Yeah. Uh, you probably don't see this being played even in a bar focused deck, so it's probably just gonna be a one. Mm hmm. Next up, 1 1 Shenlin. It's a 500 power level assist, 500 times level assist, so 1500 if it's level 3, in front of this card. And you may rest this card to choose one of your opponent's level 2 or lower characters and have it minus 1 level. Uh, this card is interesting because, you know, we, we mentioned the Hoppo combo. Um, and there are, like, bombs that are available to use. Uh, and there's other level down effects you can use in conjunction with this one, uh, which can allow you to do cool stuff like uh, use a level zero clock bomb on a 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, the level down effect is the most important part of this card. Like yes. you can bomb, you can make a level zero bomb, bomb level one ones, you can make your hopple hit back roll level ones. There's also level one bombs in red in the set. Mm -hmm. uh, another, another cool interaction with this is that you can like wait. You can't level down level three, so never mind. No, you can't. Yeah, I, I was thinking about like if you can level this down level guy. three, it's a two KSS. <laughs> uh. So mainly for this, those interactions, this card would be used for. Uh, besides from that, level six is just pretty generic. It is a one one, so it's nice. So it's probably just be like a two. Two. There is some potential here, though. This actually, yeah, this like potential. Engine. We could we could bump it to a three, but there's potentials. Okay. Like if, okay. If you, I'm down for a three. Yeah. All right, three it is. Next up, two one Ichi. It is a again level assist back to back climax combo. You may discard a gold bar climax or the gate climax. They're both pictured down below. Uh, when this card is placed on stage from hand, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose either or again. And uh, from waiting room and add it to hand. So you may ditch either gold bar or gate or resalvage a gold bar or gate. The ones pictured below. Uh, I think the bar is the level one bar again. And the door is something we'll talk about later. But um... So being level two is the problem. If this was a one one, it would be much better. Like you, you can change your doors into bars when you need it for level one. But this is quite delayed. It's mainly going to yeah. be used to help you find your finisher CX. Yeah, I think that's how they intended it as well. Yeah. Um, it's pretty dependent. As it is, it's like also pretty dependent on how good the combos are. Yeah, this one's more dependent on the door being good compared to the bar, unlike before where the other level zero depends on the bar being good. Yeah. Uh, 
size from that, I guess it's just like a two. Yeah, I think so too. Sounds good. Sounds good. Two it is. Next up, two one Tazusa. For each of your other Lily characters, it gets plus 1,000 power, making it on a full board a 10,000 power character. Climax combo when the level stock soul is placed on your climax area, picture it in your bottom on your bottom right. If this is in the front row, choose up to one, three, two early play healer Tazusa. We saw this earlier. It was, you know, a four as rated by Kevin. Uh, from your waiting room, add it to hand, then choose up to one Lily character in your waiting room and send it to stock. Um, this would be sick if you could early play it somehow, but you can't, I think. So, yeah, this doesn't, this doesn't come out level one, so this is level two. It doesn't plus you as much as like something like Yu Gi Oh does. So, like, yeah. if you're gonna replace your level one combo, you really want mm -hmm. it to be really impactful. This, this yeah. does take a CX slot over your finisher or your level one engine. It has to be advantage, and yeah, for that reason, it has to be good, but. This isn't it's not that good, good for level yeah. two combo, yeah. Yeah. So it's probably one like one. a one. Yeah, I think it's over two. Yep. Next up, Oops, two hard. one Shiori. During your turn, for each of your other Lily characters, it gets plus fifteen hundred power. It's a lot of power. When this card attacks, you may pay cost. If you do during the trigger step, this attack, a uh, trigger step of this attack, perform trigger check twice. So twin drive. So it's a right. 12k on turn twin drive. Uh, it's like not that big compared to other two ones. Yeah, it's probably just a pack nothing. filler. I don't think. Yeah, I, I I wouldn't run this. Yeah, it's like I a level one, a one star pack filler. Yeah. Next up, three two Ichi. If you have two or less climaxes in your waiting room, it gets minus one level on hand, so it's an early play. When this card is placed on stage from hand, draw up to two cards, discard two cards, then put up to one card from the top of your deck into stock, so you don't have to draw two, but you always have to ditch two. And when this card attacks, choose one of your other Lily characters this turn, it gets plus X power. X equals the number of your other Lily characters times 500 power. Uh, I think Shimakai early plays are usually pretty decent um they like help your board scale into level two pretty well i think and this is a good condition like a well not a good condition but like an acceptable condition um yeah and everything's like fine on this card right like plus that, that thing really stands out yeah make it that's like good a, yeah like a game like you have to put this into your deck mm-hmm it's like an option, but it's not. You have to question if this is worth in, uh, using a slot compared to other early yeah. plays. Especially uh, since this doesn't have lots of good early plays. Yeah, I think this is only considered purely because it's green. Like, you also play, like, a different early play that is also green. And this happens to be green, which is, like, nice, right? Mm -hmm. But apart uh, from that, it's pretty whatever. Yeah. Uh, Probably give it a two. Yeah. Generic, yeah. Sounds good. Next up, zero zero Yuija. If you have five or more cards in your hand, it gets plus two thousand power. Discard one card when this card is placed on stage from hand. You may pay the cost. If you do, choose one Lily character from your clock and add it to hand, and put the top card of your deck into clock to replace it. That's a pretty generic clock filter card. Uh, yep. 3K generally, body yeah, three K body is nice. Yeah, but nothing, on a card nothing like this. too important. So mm -hmm. this card is just like a two. Yeah. Zero, zero Tazusa. When this card is placed on stage from hand, look at the top card of your deck and put it on top or send it to waiting room. Send this to waiting room when your other character is sent from the stage to waiting room. If this card is in your back row, you may pay the cost. If you do rest, uh, return that character to stage in its former slot rested. Conan was a mistake, guys. <laughs> Except this is this isn't the same as Khan, unfortunately. You can't like loop scries. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, the, this card is kind of confused. I think um, the set doesn't really have as good as a target you want to save all the time, like Sunshine. Yeah, nothing, nothing. Yeah, nothing compared. I mean, I take it. 
of course. Not, not, yeah, Mirai Teki was uh, a different beast. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as it is, I think usually these kinds of cards are kind of um, not that great. Yeah, the only as a result. Much. Yeah. So probably like a two. Maybe a one. Yeah, it's like it's it's there. It's in that territory. You want to? What do you want to give it? It's your call. One or two. Uh, we'll give it one. All right, All I'm right. down. I'm down, Tom. Get out of here. Oh, I agree with I, Kevin. I, oh, 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 I said so why, dude? What, what are you doing? Go, right. back, go back to fixing the sound, bro. Oh, my. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's your fault that the sound's best. Oh, okay. <laughs> zero, zero, Tazusa. You cannot play events or backups from your hand. And when this card's battle opponent is reversed, you may send the top card of your opponent's clock to waiting room. If you do, send that character to clock. So this is the second time we've seen this now. Mm -hmm. First one was the slime. Uh, if the events you play is not that good, the downside is actually not that bad compared yeah. to slime. But that three said, body, it's yeah, it's just not. It's, it's still probably not worth playing, even if the downside doesn't matter, because it's like it's three five, not level one. And yeah, it's it's effect is basically only active at level zero. Yeah, so it's, that it's just slime, not going to be big enough probably not that good here either so it's probably just one <coughs> mm -hmm. oh he coughed yikes <laughs> one zero yujia discard two cards when you use this card's backup you may pay the cost if you do you may send the top card of your opponent's clock to waiting room and if you do choose one of your opponent's characters whose level is higher than your opponent's level and send it to clock so anti-change counter clock swapping anti-change counter and it's a 1000 power level one costless backup so this um, two anti changes are usually pretty bad, but this one is hard removal, and you actually have a lot of ways to plus your hand. And if you go towards green with the bar combo, yes, that is true. So it, it could see play in that deck. Yeah, I think if you, it's really interesting if you save like a the bar combo that can plus you two. Go mm -hmm. is like if you effectively save pay the cost to save the card that pluses you two anyways, it's like almost free in a sense, which is really <laughs> nice. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I think I would agree that this is a good, generally better version of like other Ditch 2 profiles. Yeah, being level one is also really nice for this too. Yeah, yeah. More more timing, more activation timing. And I think the cards you want to save are like level one, going to be level one generally, mm -hmm. like the combo. So. Want to give this like a three? Yeah, sure. We'll give it a three. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Next up, one zero Shen Lin for each of your other Lily characters. It gets plus five hundred power, so full board. It caps at six thousand. Discard one gold bar climax. When this card attacks, you may pay the cost. If you do this turn, it gets plus one thousand power and gains the following ability. When this card's battle opponent is reversed, you may choose one character from your waiting room and add it to hand. So this is one of the gold bar level one supports I was talking about. This card is actually really good for if you're playing like eight gold bars. It's, yeah, I, I these like bigish uh, battle phase like like thing, you can just do stuff with your gold bar immediately when you trigger it, which is really nice. Not on not if this triggers a bar, but if like your previous tax trigger bar, but it's like super nice. Like, yeah, if you end up triggering a bunch of bars, this card just. It helps you get rid of the bars in your hand. Yeah. Um, it's also really nice. Yeah. The timing is also kind of nice. You can like salvage like backups or something off a triggered bar, which is like, you know, all sorts of cool. Uh, and this is like a reasonable attacker too, which is always nice to see on filler level ones. The only problem with this is, yeah, it is tied down to the gold bar. You haven't mm -hmm. played a bunch of gold bars. So. If you're playing Go Bar, a like a Go Bar, you definitely include this, but other decks won't run around this. Yeah. So, but I'll probably just give it a three. It's it's really good Go a Go Bars, but doesn't see much plays outside of that. Mm -hmm. Depends on how good the a Go Bar deck is. That was a three. It is. Next up, one one Tazusa. When your other Lily character attacks this turn, this gets X power. X equals the number of your other Lily characters times. 
500, so it can cap at 8,000 on your turn, and it has Han on core. No, it caps at 10k, right? Yeah, it taps 10k, yeah. Still not very good, I think. <laughs> like, a lot of time, you're, you're paying <laughs> one to get, remove something, but then this card gets answered right right away afterwards. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's the problem. Uh, it's um, probably just like a one. You you yeah. won't play this in standby. There's better standby targets. You might run this in one of. Sounds good. One Maybe. of it is it's it's plus one thousand per. Is that the? Uh, it's the... plus five hundred per. So if, if you have plus two characters attacks, two oh. characters attacks gains two k yeah. uh, plus gains four k. I am a silly goose. All right, my bad. But it's a one. Whatever. <laughs> Moving on, 2-1, Yujiya. Math is hard, guys. Math is hard. When this card is placed on stage from hand, mill three. If there is a climax among them, choose one of your opponent's level three or lower front row characters. You may send it to waiting room. And it is a, when this card is reversed, if the battle opponent's level is higher than your opponent's level, you may send the top card of your opponent's clock to waiting room. If you do send that character to clock, whoa. No, yeah, like this card is pretty impressive. Double, it's double dipping, yeah. Yeah. You get to, you <laughs> if part of the double early play is you play this out, you bump, you get, you can, you can potentially get rid of two cards. That's pretty sweet. Um, this card's actually really dope. Yeah, Sand there's like no. Yeah, I, it's so synergistic with itself. It's kind of disgusting. I um, probably give this like a four. Yeah, I think so too. It, it's so good. For an anti change bomb. Usually, anti change bombs don't have any good secondary effect, but this secondary effect is just like insane. And there's a lot of top deck manipulation in this set, remember? So you can like do some things to confirm the climax. I, yeah, I think it's, I think a four is right. totally appropriate here. Definitely. Maybe, maybe. Anti change fire, bomb gets a four. <laughs> <laughs> what? If, if this is a 1-1, one, one, it'll definitely be a 5. But... Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. Okay, 4 it is. Sorry, I was just dumbfounded by this card. 4, yeah. Oh, my. It's good. It's good. Wow. And you're already running green for the early play, so you just throw this in, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 4 it is, boys. Maybe even... If every deck's running... Oh, this card is good. Whoa. 2... Wait, okay, whatever. Next up, 2-1 Shenlin. When you use this card's backup... Choose one of your battling characters. It gets this effect for the turn. When this card's battle opponent is reversed, send it to memory. So memory kick counter. 3,000 power backup. So, so generic. Yeah. Hey, generic. You know if you need this card. There's yep. a bunch of effects that, that this is, this like counters. So, I mean, like a two though, probably. Yeah, big yeah. two, generic two. Next up, this 2-1 event. It's time for the, your usual event with long text session with ua and co if you do not have a lily character you cannot play this card from hand send this to memory on its placement choose up to one lily character from your waiting room and add it to hand then choose one of your opponent's characters this turn and it gets minus one level and its final effect is uh when this card is in memory you may discard a climax at the start of your main phase to uh, add this card back to your hand this is the only other level down effect, right? Yes. Yeah. If I'm right um, right. Yeah. It's kind of sweet, but unfortunately, it's level two. Yeah, it's very delayed. So, like, you can't use this event to grab your level one combo and then level something down and then pop it. Yeah. This would be so nice if it were one one, but unfortunately, it's not. Um, yeah. I think this is just okay. Like it okay, it's not even just okay. It's it's just like you'd only run this with if you're intending to do level down shenanigans. So and we don't know. We're not we don't know how confident we are in that like that concept, so I don't know, it's like wrong two. two, yeah. And if level down stuff does end up being good, then we can bump this up. But even in that sense, it's like an event that's pretty delayed. Yeah, it, it's also it's a hand clogger, it yeah. Yeah. Sounds Definitely good. Definitely, this is a one one. This go up, but it's not. Two, it is. And that's it for green. All right, chat. Kevin, are you guys ready for red? Yep. 
All right. Tom, are you ready? Oh, uh, yeah. Care. All right, moving on. <laughs> zero, zero, Fumi. At the start of your main and climax phases, you may look at the top card of your deck. Uh, brainstorm, pay one, tap self. Flip over the top four cards of your deck, uh, and uh, for each climax hit, you choose a character from your waiting room and add it to hand. I personally think this is one of the best brainstorms printed since the Guild Crown power up set, with Inori being like in incredibly OP. But this one is also really strong. Top deck knowledge, two twice, is a lot of value. Very relevant timings as well. There, there's also a lot of cards <coughs> that benefits off top decks. Like as you saw the go bar combo that snipes back rows, you can confirm the first cards like a level one or not. Yes. Uh um, this is super versatile. It like it has the potential to make a lot of other cards. Not just I mean we, we hinted at it, but like this card will make a lot of other cards in your deck better just by being in your deck. So it's hard yeah, to like it's hard to just I feel like it's hard to run uh, other brainstorms in the set uh, because of this card. Like, there's two brainstorms that are like engine specific, but even those are probably just w overall worse than this brainstorm yeah. of how good this brainstorm is. <laughs> this is probably one of the best brainstorms we've seen in a long time. Yeah. I, I, I want to give it a five. Mm -hmm. Woo! We got a five chat. Pogs in the chat. Woo! We got a five. Woo! We got a five. Woo! 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 It's so okay. cringe, dude. That's cringe. All right. Five it is. You love better. Uh, next up, sorry, I did a cringe dance and I kind of got too much blood in my head. Uh, zero, zero, Riri and Yuyu. If you have another Lily character, it gets plus 1500 power. At the start of your opponent's attack phase, if there is a character in the slot across from this, you may move this card to an empty front row slot. So it's like a free runner. It's like a, a 3k free runner, but with uh, some timing awkwardness. But besides from that, it's, it's going to do what you always want to do, where it's just going to plus you most of the time. The yeah. only, yeah. The only time it's worse than a free runner is like if your opponent doesn't play a card in front of this, then you can't like run to deny soul damage. Yeah. Besides from that, it's just a free runner. 3k free runner. Pretty good. Yeah. Um, it's probably your best option as far as like, like I'm, I'm, yeah, pulsing zero that we've seen. Like, the condition is free too, so it's like, yeah. yeah and what are the odds your opponent plays like three characters to get, that can answer this? Mm hmm. Yeah. This is good. It's probably like, it's like a four, right? Yeah. Four? Four sounds good. Four. Uh, to clarify, the power is what makes it a four, right? It's yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, of course. If it's for like one yeah. K or whatever, nah, hell no. If, if it's just like a regular free uh, two two K free runner, and it's like pretty bad. Three K is like just big enough to clear a lot of like common utility zeros. Yeah, it's it's hard for your opponent to just field three card cards that that can answer this at three K. Even at level one, this could survive, honestly. If your opponent has to play like crappy level zero cards and you just run in front of it, like it's like a chaser in that regards, right? Which is nice. All right, so yeah, three. it's a four. A uh, four, four, yeah, four. It's four, four, it's Sounds four. Sounds good. Yeah. Yo, FYI, this girl looks like Rize from Gochiusa. Uh, next up, <laughs> two one Kaide. If you have four or more Lily characters, this card gets minus one level in hand. Climax combo when the standby climax pictured below is placed in your climax area. If this card is in your front row and all your other characters are Lily, choose up to one of your other characters, return it to hand, and this turn this gains the following ability. At the start of your attack phase, choose one of your other Lily characters, stand it, and this turn that character gets plus 1000 power. It combos with a standby, so the card you bounce can stand by into that column. So it's like Ainz from Overlord. Except, Except way not better. as bad. <laughs> way, better. way better. I mean, this is actually a double R, double R quality version versus Lines. the common common version. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the problem with Overlord is like if you don't have a card that bounces back to hand when you play its climax, 
then you just have, like minus one because you have the full, mm-hmm. full, full, uh, full field in order to early play it. But that's one bouncing your character. So even if you do full field, you don't have to stack a character with, with your standby. It's way more versatile too because you can like bounce anything. So you can yeah, recycle. Yeah, so this, this card, yeah, recycles yeah. the on play effects. Uh, but the problem is, compared to Overlord, we haven't seen any two twos that super benefits from being in the front row super fast, like a Kaidus. Yes, but, that is yeah. true. But it's definitely not bad. It's probably one of the better uh, standing, like stand combos for standby. Definitely. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah. Uh, this card probably is like a three for now. Yeah. Like it could go up definitely if standby proves to be good. But it really depends on what the rest of the deck has to offer. <laughs> Next up, and oh boy, this one. 3-2 Riri. When this card is placed on stage from hand, you may heal one. Climax combo. When the gate climax is placed on your climax area, pictured below, you may pay one. If this is in the front row and you have two or more other Lily characters, you may pay the cost if you do all your other characters gain the following ability until end of the turn. When this card attacks, send the bottom three cards of your opponent's deck to waiting room. Then deal X damage to your opponent. X equals the number of climaxes sent to waiting room. So this is one of the reasons why I want to build this set. This this combo reads to me like extremely well. It's sort of expensive, but not too expensive. It heals on play and it's on the plus and trigger and it's there's a lot of instances of uh, mills and burns. Uh, triple of this, you get six icy tails with three attacks. Right. Uh, little spoiler: there's a there's a there's an off CX uh, restander, so you actually give that the uh, effect. So it attacks, mm-hmm. kind of restands and attacks again. You get another icy tail too. So two of this plus restander is like six. This is mm-hmm. icy tail plus four attacks. It's pretty impressive it's like marika a little bit shades of marika yeah shades of marika uh I, for... I feel like if you play a set you, you this is probably one of the biggest reason why you want to play this set yes and the trigger is good always always a yeah. bonus nice bonus so this is probably just a five like yeah. a reason to play a set big five almost back to back fives your opponent that by the way, climax. That's your opponent's face when you play this combo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, please don't mill all my climax. <laughs> um, all right, five it is, guys. Uh, definitely something you want to not be missing out on. Next up, zero zero Kaide. If you are level two or higher, this card gets the following ability: act, pay one, discard one, send this to waiting room. Choose up to one TD three two Riri in your hand, and place it on any uh, place it on stage in this card slot. Uh, we reviewed this earlier, but the effect is down below. If you guys want to reread this card to refamiliarize yourself with the effect, continuous all of your other Lily characters gets plus five hundred power, and uh, act pay to rest this. Choose one Lily character from your waiting room and add it to hand. Um, probably not worth running honestly yeah it does change your three two into an early play a one cost early play but it eats up slots that's the problem yeah and the card itself isn't that good yeah the other two effects yeah the other two effects is quite mediocre yeah so you really have to justify slots for this it's kind of like a weird trance right in a way Mm -hmm. um so the thing about card. trance cards, yeah, the thing about trance cards, I feel like they really need to be good, to justify like these like crappy cards you're running to be able to trance. And I don't think that I think we both agree level three isn't good enough, probably, mm-hmm. to run this card. Yeah. So. so it's probably just the one. Yeah. One. Okay. Yeah. Apparently, chat says Rintaro plays four of these. But uh oh, is he actually re-review, re-review, <laughs> re-review. Uh, next up, zero zero Fumi. When this card is placed on stage from hand, choose one of your characters, and it gets plus one thousand power. Then act. You may send this to waiting room. Look it up to four cards from the top of your deck. 
Choose up to one Lily character from among them, show it to your opponent, add it to hand, and send the rest to waiting room. This is I, like pretty pretty okay. You uh, yeah. It's pretty generic. If you need the mill, it's one cost. It doesn't take up a slot on your board. So it's nice. Uh, just a two. Yeah. Generic two. Yeah. Two? Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Next up, one zero Riri. During your turn, all of your other Lily characters gets plus 1,000 power. And when your climax is placed on the climax area, choose one of your characters. This turn, it gets plus 1,000 power. I think uh, on turn, 1k power is usually a little worse than an opponent's turn, 1k power. Um, this is a lot of power, but it's like, uh, it's also 1 0. So you, the power better be valuable. Yeah, it's always either going to be off color or you're, you're running like the TD level one combo. Like, I don't even think this oh, is worth no. it in like yeah. the standby level, the two one standby. Yeah. But even then, it's another card that's better back row for your TD card that we'll go over yeah. later. I, I, uh, probably just the one, honestly. Yeah, probably just the one. Next up, 2-2 Riri. For each of your opponent's back row characters, it gets plus 2,500 power, and it has hand on core. Uh, 11k. 11k hand on Super, core. Is, yeah. Pretty big. Pretty big. It is more susceptible to be played around, but decks these days usually want both their back rows. Yeah, I mean, if, if my card said, like, your opponent... We'll play one back row for the rest. I, I feel like that's a decent trade off. I don't know. Yeah, um, it's also a hand on core. So even if they beat over it, you, you can like yeah. just on core it, beat over. And in, in a lot of time, if they move up on their back row, they're going to be attacking with like a pretty small body. Mm -hmm. So either yeah. you, you get free lane anyway. So you just on core, beat over the free lane, and then your opponent just sits on one back row for the rest of the game. Yeah. Probably. So yeah, good. Right. What do, you, what do you want to give it? A three? I want to give it a three. It's definitely a standby okay. standby card. It's one of the better two twos we've seen so far. But it could go up if the standby is good. Yeah. Alrighty. Next up, three, two, Kaide. All of your other Lily characters gets plus 1500 power. When this card is placed on stage from hand, choose one Lily character from your waiting room and you may add it to hand. And then rest this. Look it up to two cards from the top of your deck. And put them back on top in any order. Just solid just standby nice. assist. <laughs> yep. Standby back row. Yeah. Uh, it was nice to have the top deck uh, manipulation, but you're, you already have tech, top deck knowledge. This moves stuff, though. I, I mean. <laughs> yeah, it does move stuff, but it's like you, you already have knowledge. Yeah. Uh,. You play this in a standby for sure. You play this in probably just regular stand one standby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's just a two, oh, pretty generic two. back row yeah. standby. Next up, three two Fumi. When this card is placed on stage from hand, choose up to one character from your hand whose level is equal or lower than your level. Place it on stage in any slot, and this turn that character gets plus two thousand power. Pay three when this card attacks. You may pay cost if you do. Your opponent sends all of their stock to waiting room, then puts an equal number of cards from the top of their deck into stock. So you're level really... three stock swap. Yeah. With also, a, actually a second effect. Yes. Also, you can stand by the salad for sick plays because you can. You can also like. You can also heal it with the heal heal the stage. Oh, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Uh, so lots of versatility. I think it's definitely better than other level three stock stocks we've seen. Yes, I agree. Um, and it's probably an auto include into all decks. Any deck that has red, which of course super easy well, to splash yeah. for, because you're, you're you already running really the great. Yeah. you have really you great know. red cards. So, so yeah, this is probably auto include. It's definitely a four. Yeah, I agree. Next up, 3-2, Araya. Discard one card. When this card is placed on stage from hand, you may pay cost if you do put the top card of your clock into stock. And then climax combo with the gate pictured. 
uh, when this card attacks, if you have the gate climax in the climax area and you have four or more other Lily characters, you may pay cost if you do deal four damage to your opponent. This is also the gate that works with the bar stuff from earlier. If you guys do recall the um, level one combo along with the two one that can swap climaxes. So pretty easy to get this gate into your hand at level three. Yes. Unfortunately, the combo is uh, kind of lackluster. Yeah, it's Burn. Sinon, but it's like one stock list. Oh, this also gets owned by memory kicks. <laughs> Every kick counter is just like Dell. I just realized this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah and this doesn't even kick. get big. This doesn't get big. Oh, no. Well, I, yeah, I feel like kick counters are being played more. I feel like this is like a victim of like dry like this is a victim by association it's, it's just yeah. like a victim of a drive-by it's just they need two memory kick counters to stop it right it's four or more yeah. four more other four, four more, more other i'm stupid <laughs> <laughs> so yeah you need a full feel to, to oh to no off. yeah i don't i'm not feeling it yeah the support for it has good. to be really good for it yeah, but currently but it's, as it's, it's not that good. No. Yeah, it's probably just a two. Two is plus yeah. one just because you have the support. But otherwise, this would have been like a one. But yeah, we we'll give yeah. it a two. Next, I feel up. like two is yeah. That yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Are you, are you good, Tom? Sorry. sorry. Yeah. 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 Are you, sorry. Are you good, bro? Bro. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Dude, your sound's messed up. Oh, picture sound. Uh, zero, zero, Ina. Your other character in the front row center slot gets plus 500 power. Climax combo brainstorm. So pay one, rest two. It basically means it hits off of these two climaxes pictured below. It interacts with the card from before and the green stuff from earlier. So it's a whole synergy stuff going on. Uh, flip over the top five cards of your deck and send them to waiting room. For each goal bar or gate, you hit. Search your deck for up to one Lily character. Uh, search, uh, shuffle, show it to your opponent as a hand, shuffle your deck. The clear payoff, I think, for that deck, right? Yeah, but unfortunately, it's not like slime where you get to where it's rest up, you the rest two. Yeah. It's definitely That's... a lot. The first effect's not even that good either. Center yeah. 500. Uh, I... It, it like forces okay. you to play but... both combos too. And both yeah. combos are like pretty mediocre yep especially since we gave the two to do a combo before yeah we just thought. uh it's definitely worse i think it's worse than just playing the brainstorm we gave a five to sad yeah big sad it's budget option that's the best it has it's probably a one yeah that is tragic yeah the byproduct of having such a powerful brainstorm in your set Next up, zero, 00 Fumi. When this card is placed on stage from hand, look it up to two cards from the top of your deck and put them back uh, in any order. And then pay one, discard a climax. When this card is placed on stage from hand, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one climax from your waiting room and add it to hand so it swaps climaxes for you. Decent climax swapper. Pretty generic. Yeah, it's pretty generic. Uh, it's just two. Yeah. If you doesn't you really elevate swap. it. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't really elevate itself in any way. Giving it a two. It is. Sorry, chat. Uh, next up, one zero Kaide. It's just a generic two thousand power costless one zero backup. Yep. Generic two. Give it a two. <laughs> next up, one zero Riri. When this card is reversed, if the battle opponent's level is one or lower, you may reverse that character. Then pay one this turn, it gets plus 1,000 power and gains the following ability. When this card's battle opponent is reversed, you may send that character to the top of their deck. So usually level one bombs are like nothing impressive, but because we have the, all the level down support, this, this one zero bomb can actually remove a lot of cards that normally wouldn't be able to bombs mm -hmm. like this. Like two twos? Two twos, sometimes three twos if you do event. And it's yes. hard removal if you pay one. Hard removal and 
damage stacking. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, lot better than regular level ones, especially specifically for the set. Yeah. That said, though, this would only be. I think you'd only play this if you're playing the level down stuff to begin with, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'd probably give it a two to match with other levels down stuff. Mm hmm. Maybe so, a three. Maybe. A three is, I think a three would be fair too, you know, because like, yeah. I, I feel like damage stacking is nice part of yeah. Like if the level down stuff is good, it, it might be because of this card, right? So yeah. I think I think a three is fine. Three is fine? Yeah. Alright, we're going with three. Next up, a one zero Kaide. When this card attacks this turn, it gets plus X power where X equals the number of your other Lily characters times five hundred. And then pay two when this card is sent from stage to waiting room. You may pay the cost if you do. Choose one Lily character from your waiting room and add it to hand. Um, this is not good. <laughs> no, pay two to plus one is usually <laughs> not good. Yeah. Uh, especially if you don't have like a stock Jenning combo. Like this, this isn't yeah. like this isn't like Milky Holmes. Yeah, I I don't know why. I don't know where this would be played. It's just, yeah. there are like other cards that attack at this power level that are just better, I think. So Yeah, so it's, it's just uh, one, most likely. Yep. 1-1 one, one, Yuri, when this card is placed on stage from hand, choose one face-up card from your opponent's memory. You may flip it face down. And if you do, at the end of your turn, Flip it face up. When this is reversed, send this to memory. And when this is reversed, if the battle opponent's level is higher than your opponent's level, you may send that character to memory. So this would be pretty cool if we did not see that level two earlier. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the, level, uh, the level two just seems so much better than this. This is only yeah. like a meta call card for the first effect. Yep. It's true. <sighs> And it's level it, one. It, it is nice that's level one though. Yeah, it is level one, which is like nice. Yeah. Yeah, but, but if, would if you have to play this if you already had the two one in your deck? I feel like no. No, unless you're facing like a lot of like Kimono and Charlotte, with or, or like Grisaya, where you really want to flip the memory face down. Yeah, but. Yeah, Probably this like is a two, very flavorful okay. card if you watch the anime, though. Uh, there's a lot There's a lot of flavor in this. <laughs> but I'd probably just give it a two. Yeah. Meta tech choice. Mm -hmm. Five for flavor, though, apparently. We need a flavor <laughs> rating someday. Tom, where's our flavor <laughs> rating? Um, I don't know. It's in your sound settings, dude. 1-1 one, one, Riri. Uh, if you have two or more other Lily characters, this gets 2,000 power. And as Han Encore, Nova, I need a new co-host. Please, thank you. <laughs> When's Brian hosting? Uh, this is generic 7-5. Good condition, but, you know, just still just a 7-5 with Han Encore. Probably yeah. Just, like a 2. Got generic 2. Yeah. Next up, 0-0 zero, zero, Kaide. Shuffle two characters from your waiting room into your deck. And uh, when this card is placed on stage from hand, you may pay that cost uh, to give this card a soul for the turn. And pay one, discard a Lily character. When this card is placed on stage from hand, you may pay that cost. If you do, look at up to four cards from the top of your deck. Choose up to one card from among them. From among them, card, keep in mind. Add it to hand and send the rest to waiting room. I feel like uh, these effects are fine, but the card itself is probably just not like good enough. Yeah, I, these effects work better when you have like Im Im impactful events and climax yeah. you want to draw or find dig into but we haven't seen any so far but still a yeah. good generic option that you can just run like one or two of at most yeah. uh, so we'll just give it a two yeah some Sounds cute stuff good. you can do you can like shuffle You oh, sorry Small deck state, you can shuffle back characters you want to get and then, you know, get them with this. Oh. Cool, but not that. It's, it's a cool story, bro. Yeah, thanks. You have other <laughs> cool stories you want to tell? <laughs> zero, zero, Kaide. 
all of your other zero zero re re vanillas. Uh, we don't review vanillas on the show, but the vanilla is pictured below. Just know it exists. Gets plus one thousand power and plus one soul. Discard one Lily character. When this card is placed on stage from hand, you may pay cost. If you do, reveal the top card of your deck, then choose one level X or lower character from your waiting room and add it to hand. X equals the level of your revealed card. So the first effect is basically irrelevant. Like, you're not, you're not gonna play this vanilla, most likely. But the second effect is kind of cool with the Brainstorm, especially. Yeah, the Brainstorm makes the second effect better because you, you already know what top card your deck is yeah most of the time so having that deck knowledge does give you insight when you want to play this and what you can search before you actually commit to the play yeah it makes it so like uh your hand fixing is just better because you know exactly what you're gonna get before you commit um, yeah yeah so. but still it's still just nice dish outlet good decent selection but it's still just pretty generic. Probably yeah. two. Mm -hmm. Next up, zero, zero, Riri. When this card is placed on stage from hand, look at the top card of your deck and put it on top or mill it. At the start of your opponent's draw phase, reveal the top card of your deck. If that card is level one or higher, you may return this card to your hand. Hey, it's a coin flip, but it's these are usually pretty underwhelming, I think. So coin flips, um, usually you want, you want them to be big as well. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And this is just 15, so... This doesn't run over anything. You already, you already have a better plus than zero in red that we saw. Yep. So you, you likely won't play this. Yeah. You already have top deck knowledge with your brainstorm. You have better plus than zero with your other double R. It's, it's probably just the one. Yeah, I agree. Next up, zero, zero, Ina. If this card has a marker underneath it, it gets plus 2,000 power. And when this card is placed on stage from hand, reveal the top card of your deck. If that card is a Lily character, you may put it underneath this card face down as a marker. It's a generic 4K oversize. There's, they're printing this more often, I guess. Yeah. What's nice about this is that if you already know the top deck, you, you can know when you get the marker or not. Yeah, yeah. That's true. It makes your brainstorm a brainstorm 5. Yeah. Plus, like, as we said, we already had plusing zero shown before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's like, uh, usually don't run this. There's no reason to run this. Mm -hmm. Probably just the one as well. Next up, 1-0 Fumi. A climax combo with the standby pictured below. Return this to hand. When the standby climax is placed on your climax area, you may pay the cost. If you do reveal the top card of your deck, if it is a Lily character, add it to hand. And then act ability, you may tap it to give a character 2,000 power. This is the other standby in the set, right? There's no other standby? Yes. Yeah. yeah, no other standby. This is the second standby. For if, if you run a standby, it's an okay choice. Your yeah. brainstorm, as, as another, another point is your brainstorm does let you know if you get the plus or not. Mm -hmm. It also lets you, like, you know, use any effects to, like, action, like change that card if you don't like what you see um 2k power is a nice thing honestly it's like pretty clutch i think but this is still probably just like like a two i i imagine yeah two yeah only play if you play standby mm -hmm. Next up, 1-0 Fumi and Tazusa for each of your back row Lily characters. It gets plus 1,000 power. When this card attacks, if you have two or more other Lily characters, look it up to two cards from the top of your deck. Choose one card among them, put it on top of your deck, and send the rest to Waiting Room. Um, this is like, okay. Nothing special, I think. Yeah, it, you run this if you need a second level one red. At 6k, it lets you confirm triggers, but outside of that, it's nothing important. Yeah. It's a two. two. Yeah. Next up, 2 1 backup. When you use this card's backup, send X cards from the bottom of your opponent's deck to waiting room. X equals the number of your Lily characters, and it's a 3,000 power backup. The inverse ruby counter. It can't be sunshine. 
We got Nerf yeah. Connor. We got Nerf Ruby Counter. Yeah, <laughs> I think this is. I think I think uh, Kevin has it right. It's usually going to be just worse than Ruby Counter because bottom deck is like rarely that relevant. It's it's mainly um, relevant if opponent swinging with a small deck. Yeah, but Ruby Counter in those situations is good too. So it's like yeah. you know, I, mean, uh, I think this is like a strict downgrade. Um, well, it's still I, good. It's three K. Yeah, I think yeah, it's still fine. It's just you know, but there's a bunch of other counters in the set, so it's like it's fighting for our spots, like the yeah. memory counter that we saw mm -hmm. earlier. But I'll just give it a two. Mm -hmm. a two sounds fine to me. Next up, this two one Riri. Uh, all of your other TD. 3-2 healer Riri's, remember it's the 11,500 power oversized healer, get plus 1,000 power. All of your other Lily characters also get a global plus 1,000 power, and it's also a ditch bond to the 3-2 healer UU. Yo, this card's sweet. Yeah, so one of this makes your UU 13-5. Yes. It also bonds to it, so you <clears throat> grab your healers. Yep. But it depends if you're playing a walling strategy, which generally you only do that if you play standby. Yeah. You standby. So it's like <laughs> a good piece of cardboard. But yeah. Uh, it's solid it's, for standby. Like global 1Ks are like nice, I think. Yeah, solid standby card, but that's that's about it. Yeah. Mm, two? Two is fine. Two is fair. Yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. Next card, this 2-1 Riri. When this card is placed on stage from hand this turn, it gets plus X power. X equals the number of your Lily characters times 1,000. So if played last on a full board, it attacks at 12,000 power. Pay one when this card's level two or higher battle opponent is reversed. You may pay cost if you do. Choose one character from your waiting room and add it to hand. So this uh, one's 12K. Yeah. It's probably not big enough. I feel like power levels have gone up since uh, we saw people playing this in Konosuba. Yeah, back in Konosuba days, you can get over a lot of EPs back then. But now but it's now, like, I feel like it's pretty different now. Yeah. Yeah, if you're playing standby, by level two, they usually have like, sometimes have like counters or a 2k assist be backing mm -hmm. up their two twos. So uh, probably just like a. I, I don't know. I feel like. I don't see why you'd run this. Yeah, it's, it's it, it, the Kono Super one's at least 13k against level threes. This one's right. yeah. level twos, but level twos are usually bigger than level, most level threes, to uh -huh. be honest. Uh, it's probably just. I think a one is uh, fair here. Yeah, like, I kind of want to say why run this card. Yeah, <laughs> like, if you run this, you might. I'd rather off running the bomb we saw earlier. Yeah, yeah that yeah. bomb is sweet. That bomb was pretty damn <laughs> sweet. Alright, one it is. Next up, boom boom event with long text. Let's go. If you if you do not have a Lily character, you cannot play this card from hand. Choose up to one Lily character from your waiting room and add it to hand. Resonance, you may reveal another copy of this card from your hand. If you do, put the top card of your deck into waiting room. That card is a level zero or lower. You may put the top card of your deck into stock. Otherwise, look it up to two cards from the top of your deck. Choose up to one card from among them, add it to hands, and the rest to waiting room, and discard a card. Um, is this is there a timing for this resonance? It's like after you, you salvage. So right after you salvage, then you resonate. Oh, that's so yeah. weird. Oh, I, I see. That is bizarre. I, um, so like if you hold on to another copy of this. Then you may get, you may refund a stock, or you may get another hand fix. I, this doesn't, I don't know, man. Uh, there, there is a search spawner to this. I'll let you know. A little spawner. Oh, I see. That makes it a little more reasonable. Yeah. But probably but I mean, still not great. Yeah, you're gonna have to clog up a slot in your hand for this, and we haven't yeah. seen. Yeah. Well, it's not. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't go to yeah. memory either. It goes straight to wing room again. So it's not like other one one. Feels bad. Yeah. Uh, I feel like it's a two. Two, yeah. Two sounds right. 
Yeah. Right? Giving it to yeah, it feels bad that it doesn't go to memory, eh? Kind of. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, you want the resonance, that's why. So you, if you grab another one in the future, mm. yeah. that's the idea. I see, I see. Fair enough, fair enough. Two it is for now. Next up, <laughs> exciting, very exciting, super long text. Let's go. If you have five or more Lily characters, deal four damage to your opponent. So that's that that that's that's four damage. And then mill nine cards. If you milled separately, character with Riri, character with Yu Yu, character with Mai, character with Shen Lin, character with Yujia, character with Miriam, character with Kaede, character with Tazusa, and a character with Fumi. Deal two damage to your opponent four flipping times. Four times. Let's go. Okay, so this win the is a lottery five star. and win the game. It's a it's a five star for flavor, but it's probably one star for actual usefulness. Usually, you have three 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 burn force. Your four doesn't stick often, so it's like that fix kind of useless, kind of expensive. And, and this you're milling like nine cards at level three. Nine cards. Nine cards. cards. And we haven't seen like a lot of cards that has multiple names on them. All most of the ones we've seen yeah. so far are like single names. And most of them most of the multiple name multi name cards aren't that good, unfortunately. It's like just yeah. the runner, I feel like, that's like actually good. And then the rest are like kinda yeah. Yeah, mul the so multiple great. name cards usually just have Riri and DU and it doesn't yeah. have the doesn't feature much of the other characters. Guys, guys, uh, guys. You're bumming me out. But what would you rate it? Oh, probably one. This is like one. unrealistic to actually get the effect off compared to like... It's never happening. Down. It's never happening. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't specifically neuter your deck specifically to play this event. I mean, even if you play that deck, this is probably still not happening. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know the math, but it's probably low. <laughs> Guys, guys, guys. Maybe, yeah. maybe in the future when they print more more characters with multiple names. Yeah, in before PR with like all nine names on it feels good. Man. Oh, okay, dude. Oh, and, and it's like, okay. It's, it's level zero you can run mul multiple copies of. It's an army <laughs> card. <laughs> oh, sh oh, okay, okay. I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. <laughs> there are like three name promos, but like, come on, guys. All right, all right, all right. So one. Yeah, it's just one. All right, yeah. chat. We're gonna be playing this deck first on stream, 100%. <laughs> All right. Good luck getting the promos. I think most of them aren't even out yet. Oh, Sag. All right, that's it for red though. Yeah, long, it was ancient times, man. Yeah. Cinder is just too overdone nowadays. This show doesn't suck. It has okay. dies. Getting too toxic, boys. <laughs> Let's just get it to blue. Okay. <laughs> Kevin, are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Ch chat, are you ready? Uh, you can't actually answer me, but Tom, are you ready? Yes, sir. All right, let's go. First up, 1-0 UU, double R. If you have two or more other Lily characters, it gets plus 1,000 power, making it a 5,500 power body. Climax combo, discard one card when this card attacks. If you have the pants climax pictured, in the climax area and you have two or more other lily characters you may pay the cost if you do repeat the following effect twice mill one then choose up to one level x or lower lily character from your waiting room and add it to hand x equals the level of the milled card keep in mind you do this twice oh oh so it's like better it's... than it's better yeah. than what's her name mash yeah yeah, or cigarettes combo. Yeah, I, I like. Uh, I don't mind this, honestly. Yeah, it's it's nice that you also have deck knowledge as well from the brainstorm. So you know. Yeah, that's that's true. And worst comes worst, it's like you dish a level zero. If you mill a zero, you just grab it back again. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's not like mash where you have to ditch a card and you might never see that card again if you have a good I, hand. I'm a huge fan of combos that like um, hand fix while you use them it's like super nice and this doesn't even cost stock which is like pretty it doesn't need a reverse either it's yeah. decently sad body you can easily grab like a counter and this as well yep um it lets I like you combo a lot yeah it definitely lets you toolbox a lot of your zeros like a lot of the generic stuff we 
gave a two, you can run multiple of those level, uh, one ups just because yes. it's in the toolbox to yeah. use those cards super easily. Um, yeah, I like this a lot. Yeah, super solid. Probably give it a four. Yeah, I think so too. I, I usually hate. I hate cigarettes combos, guys. <laughs> but um, it turns hands. out when you add a bunch of other shit to a cigarettes combo, it makes it way better. He hates hates cigarette combos, guys. I do. Oh, I true. You, if you, it's, since it's a pants, if you trigger pants, you can just also. Pants. Oh yeah. Also, you're right. you are not forced to do this effect. Thank goodness. Oh, that's Wait, true. Yeah. Optionally, pay costs. No, if you don't pay costs, you don't get the effect. That's true. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, with cigarettes, you have to. Oh, yeah, you have to mill oh, too. You have the climax, oh, you, you have, have to do cigarettes. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, if you don't need the plus, and you don't want to read your dex, then you don't, you're not forced to. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's pretty nice. Yeah. Or it is. All right, sounds good. <laughs> Funny that Tom hates cigarette combos, because I hate him. What? <laughs> That's toxic. <laughs> That, that joke did not deliver the way I thought it would. Dude. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> oh. Three, two, my. Wait, he just disappeared. <laughs> if you have two or less climaxes in your waiting room, this gets minus one level in hand. If all your characters are Lily, this gets plus 1500 power and gains the following ability. Auto discard one card. When this is front attack, you may pay cost if you do return this to hand. And it's a healer. Uh, you may pay cost. That's so nice. It's not forced. That is kind of cool. You can deny reverses, which is not really relevant anymore, but it's still there. Yeah. And you can loop heals. Kind of. Well, you can't loop. Not at level two, probably, but at level three, yeah. Yeah. If it was four more characters, it actually would be really that sick be, that would be so good uh, 10 5 body potentially loop self early play healer really good yeah just like the other um, early play healer just like better than generic early play most other generic early play healers yeah for sure it's like kind of question it's like hard yeah i think this really kind of makes it hard to d decide how to um assign your power right because, like, why would you... Like, it feels kind of bad committing so much to try and reverse this when it's just going to bounce anyways, right? So then, like, your opponents kind of have to, like... It feels like crashing might even be better into this card. Because it's just it feels like a waste of time to, like, try and pump, pump, pump a card up to like, reverse this to only have it bounce back. So, mm -hmm. yeah. This is solid. It's better than most early play healers that's two less. So I give us a good old four. Yeah, I think so too. That sounds good. Also discard outlet. Mm -hmm. Three, two, Miriam. When this card is placed on stage from hand, this turn it gets plus X power. X equals the number of your Lily characters times 1,000. So really beefy uh, full board caps at 14,000. Mm -hmm. uh climax combo pay one at the end of this card's attack if you have the book climax in the climax area you may pay the cost if you do look it up to the top card look at the top card of your opponent's deck put it on top or bottom of their deck then deal three damage to your opponent also this card does not stand during your next stand phase it's pretty cheap it's only six stock to triple this right yeah burn three is a good number doesn't have to reverse but it doesn't have an on play. Yes. All that is true. Um, a big thing to note is that there this is cards like a target for a lot of resonance stuff, like like in Cyclone. Oh. I see. Yeah. I see. So there's a lot of cards that does work off having this in hand. So there's like a obviously like a theme deck card around this yes. card. Yeah. Uh I think the combo's decent. Yeah. For sure. Being big is nice, but it doesn't matter too much when doesn't stand next turn but I'd, I'd, in one case you can just use it beat over your opponents and then combo next turn yeah yeah uh, wait this is being cross turn power so it's like opponents just answer this yeah the power doesn't really matter too much if this doesn't stand next turn. yeah yeah probably just a 
I think it's a three. I think it's a it's three. Like, yeah, yeah. There, there is uh, possibilities for this card to be used, mm -hmm. but it's not like better than the previous combo we saw. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Next up, zero zero Mai. When this card is placed on stage from hand, all your player, all players resolve the following effect. If you have five or more memory, choose four cards from your memory and send all other cards to waiting room. This card one card when this card is placed from stage to waiting room, you may pay cost if you do look it up to four cards from the top of your deck. Choose up to one level, one or higher card from among them. Show it to your opponent, add the hand and send the rest to waiting room. I want to say, I want to jump in and say that we've seen this effect a lot of times in a lot of the set reviews and every time uh, the, the guest and Tom say the same thing. The first effect, if it was printed on a playable card, would uh, be worth including the deck. So, so now I pass it off to you guys. This, this, yeah, this is a playable card, definitely. For sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this type of effect uh, means that anytime you go against a deck that memory compresses, you just, you just tell them. Yeah, no. you, you just instant just happen to just blow them out. He's like, I run yeah. four. I run three or four of his cards. <laughs> <laughs> Sad. You this is powerful. Play against slime. They have yeah, it's, it's it's powerful, right? Like, it makes like this deck into like some like, into a really powerful meta consideration for like memory decks. So, but all memory decks have fallen off lately. That is true. No more Psychono Grisaya. Feels bad, man. Yeah. But I mean, their second effect is also really playable. It's one of the better level zeros mm -hmm. effects in the game. Mm -hmm. um, free mail, free discard outlet. What do you want to give it? Uh, three or four. Mm, probably four. Like, I feel like you definitely play this. Yeah. In every, every deck. Yep. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, next up, one zero Miriam. Uh, discard one card when this card is placed on stage from hand mill two if you mill the climax you may pay cost if you do search your deck for up to one lily character show it to your opponent add it to hand and then shuffle your deck afterwards uh, resonate to reveal the three two miriam as kevin stated earlier uh the one that we saw i think three four cards ago from your hand at, at the start of your climax phase if this card is in the front row you may pay cost to resonate the three two if you do choose one of your other characters and it gets two thousand power so that's nice. I think. I, I think the first effect is pretty, pretty nice too. Honestly. Yeah. Especially since you you also have you know top deck knowledge from your brainstorm. Yes. Yeah. Um, but this obviously only goes in the deck if you play the three two. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's probably like a two. Yeah. Tech choice if you play. Yeah, you, you're forced to play the three two if you want to play this. Mm -hmm. Two? All right, sounds good. Uh, one zero Yuri. Uh, when this card attacks, choose one of your other Lily characters. This turn it gets plus X power. X equals the number of your other Lily characters times 500. Climax combo. When the book climax picture is placed in your climax area, if you have another Lily character, choose one of your other characters and this turn it gains the following ability. When this card's battle opponent is reversed, search your, search your deck for up to one Lily character. Show it to your opponent. And add to your hand. Shuffle your deck afterwards. Dude, I really wish this gave it was able to give it to itself in the power anti effect. Yeah, it kind of feels pretty limiting, actually. Yeah, so you can give it all. You can play two of these and give it all to one character. That's like gets pretty big. Mm -hmm. You can probably pump in like 10k or plus. But the problem is, this card itself is pretty small and might give your opponent pluses. I like that it's just a Shimakai without the combo, though. It's like kind of nice in that regard. Yeah, but there's, um, we've seen a bunch of other like. That's true. Combos. Yeah, that's true. I just mean, if you like, if you were running the combo anyways, this is like it's like nice that it does something significant compared to like other global one combo cards. Yeah, but true. as it is, like it's probably not that good either. Yeah, the trigger is also kind of bad, unfortunately. But I'm still down to give it like a two. Yeah, I think two is fine. What's with the climax art? By yeah, the way? what's with the art? Dude, this is a like a Yuri show, dude. 
they're like all, all, all into each wow. other. Wow, and one of the characters is named Yuri. Very, very subtle. <laughs> <laughs> very subtle. Fair enough, fair enough. Next up, 2 1. My, when you use this card's backup, you may pay cost. We do shuffle all cards from your waiting room into your deck. So, free fresh backup, and it's a 2500, you know, typical of free fresh backups. Solid. I yeah, free fresh backups usually if the if set has it, I'll probably run it. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Someone will include one of. Especially when you like run like doors. You trigger a door, you mm -hmm. scrap this sometimes. And you do have do good door combos. Mm hmm So yeah, why not? Yeah, I think it's probably three. Yeah. Next up, Yu It's a two thousand power assist to level three or higher characters in front of this card. Pay two, rest this card. Uh, choose one of your opponent's characters and return to hand. So pay two, bounce. Uh, this is decent. For I think the bounce effect is like pretty. It's situational because of the cost, but it's like pretty powerful. I think on an assist like this. Yeah, so I think it's one of the few two uh, K assist to level threes in the set. Uh, it's, okay. not, it's not the only one. I think um, so that that itself makes it better especially since you already have like we've, we've seen two good early plays like two really good early plays yep yeah this is a good card to have it sit behind uh, -huh. uh what do you want to get uh probably a three i think just like for most decks it's like include auto include one of if not yeah. playing the level down the yeah level down and level assist mm -hmm. this is your choice yeah, I'm a fan too. Next card. Next up, 2 1 Miriam. Uh, when this card attacks, if the level of the character across from it is 3 or higher, uh, it gets 6,000 power. Um, and resonate with the 3 2 Miriam. Again, the resonate target that Kevin mentioned. Uh, at the start of your climax phase, you may pay the cost. If you do, this card gets 2,000 power. Same effect. So it swings 15k if you run the level 3. Um, it's nice, but like as we said with all other anti early play cards, like profiles, the green ones just like yeah, I, I, it's the green ones. Just I like, don't know if I would even play this over the green card, even if I were running this level three. I feel like the green card's just way better. So yeah, kind of hard to. Fifteen k is really big. It is big, it, and it can get bigger, right? Because of the two k pump from the other resident card, resident card. Yeah. So. See, this card can hit high numbers, but there's yeah. a point where you, it just doesn't matter anymore how high you pump it. Yeah. You'll, you, cards only defend so big. So yeah. All right. What uh, do we rate it? Um, two. One. Just a two. Yeah. Just a yeah, two. two. Yeah. Next up, 3-2 Moyu. It's a 2,000 power assist to Lily characters in front of this card. When this card is placed on stage from hand, search your deck for a Lily character. Show it to your opponent as in hand. Shuffle afterwards. At the start of your opponent's attack phase, choose one of your Lily characters. You may move it to your empty front row center slot. You guys mentioned earlier a standby target. I think I uh, might have found one that is better. This is pretty good. Yeah. Is it better? I am pretty much the same level. That's true. See, uh, yeah, I just misspoke. Uh, who knows? But uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, sorry, yeah, I, I missed. Pretty, yeah, I, I mean, I, I think my both jaw. are. I, I just, don't spank me, Kevin. I am sorry. <laughs> both are pretty good, right? Though I, I feel like yeah. it's kind of equal. I, I, um, I think the third effect is like the difference maker. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's like pretty niche in this case, I think. But it, like, it, it it can be pretty clutch occasionally. Okay. Because the card, it's the card can move itself as well. So true. If you um, want to deny soul damage, and yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. But when you're playing a standby deck, you're usually winning board. Yeah, that's true. In fact, it comes up less often than you think. Yeah. Unless it's like a mirror, like a standby mirrors. Uh -huh. Um. What do we give the other one? Like a two. Yeah, I think we gave you one a two, so this yeah. probably also sits at a two. It's probably also a two, yeah. Sounds good, sounds good. Next up, 3-2 Yu-Yu. When this card attacks, if you do not have another character whose name includes Riri, put the top card of your deck into Clock. 
I, I will remind you guys the level three red card of the gate combo the icy tail is named riri uh, uh play three discard one card send one of your other characters from stage to waiting room this ability activates up to once per turn during the turn this is placed on stage from hand at the end of this card's attack you may pay cost if you do stand this tom you're laughing wow at guys happens. i wonder what card they want you to play this with <laughs> I I, 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 it, I have no idea, guys, but I'm sure you guys, I'm sure you could figure it out. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this, this card is basically unplayable in, other, in, in, in any of the other decks, but it's like, this card enables the gate finisher so well. Oh, yeah. It scales really well, too. Even if you have just one copy, I feel like it's, like, pretty decent. Like, one of this and one of the Icy Tail is, like, also pretty nice. It's, like... It, like, wow. without this, your Honestly. option to Icy Tail was like, you, if you triple, it's like nine stock. This actually is eight stock only. If you have with one double, with yeah, double, double plus wow. is eight stock. That's, a, that's insane. Yeah. That is actually really insane. Um, wow. All right. You give it four <laughs> just because it makes your finisher better. Yeah, I, I think yeah. so. Yeah, the finish is just that good, right? So it's like, yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, this card wouldn't actually that be that good, but the finisher elevates this higher. Yeah. Definitely. Alright, fair enough. Hey, you can play this card to send a card to clock so that you can summon it off the greed. Okay, never mind. What? You said the timing doesn't wow. work out. The, the timing does not work out that way, unfortunately. Wow. Oh, oh it's when it attacks. Oh, no. I'm a yeah. Dude, I, I stepped out of my boundaries. I need to go back to my cage. <laughs> Where's Josh? He wouldn't make this mistake. <laughs> zero, zero, Miriam. When this is reversed, if the battle opponent's level is zero or lower, you may send that character to the bottom of your opponent's deck. Resonance with the three, two, Miriam. Uh, again, resonate target. Pump 2k? No, it's not pump 2k. It is at the start of your opponent's attack phase, you may move, you may pay the cost to move this to an empty front row slot. 500 power. Um... um. It's not as good as the other runner. Yeah. Definitely not. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like fine, but obviously, I think the red one is obviously better, yeah. I, I've played something like this back to Psychono set one, when you have to play the Icy Tail Resonate. Right. There's a, there's a lot of times uh, you, yeah. you just don't open the, co the target and this. Yeah. So it's actually pretty awkward. Like a two? Mm -hmm. Too, yeah. Next up, zero zero Misuzu. Pay one at the start of your opponent's attack phase. You may pay cost. If you do, choose one of your characters whose name includes Yu Yu and choose this card. Swap their positions on stage and stand them. And then pay one during your opponent's turn when this card is reversed. You may pay cost if you do rest this. And at the start of your next encore step, send this to memory. So, another flavor card. But we haven't seen much good UU cards to swap with. Right. I was going to ask you that, but okay. Yeah. So we don't yeah. have any good. You don't, we do not have worthwhile synergy here, I guess. Which uh, And like the best is like your level one combo. Uh-huh. All right. Well, <laughs> I guess not. Yeah. This, card it, this, is a fl this is a flavor card. Oh, it's the black haired chick. Wait, I she's. Think. Yeah, yeah, the black hair. Yeah, the you, 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 you. Yeah, yeah. The restander character. Yes. Uh, this doesn't seem very good. It was anything. It was probably better. Mm hmm. Just, it, was, it was with any character. It's probably better, but just. Oh me. yeah, sure. Yeah, of course. But it's just too restrictive. Yeah, the second effect's nice, but it's like you, we've already seen a bunch of other plusing level zeros. Yeah, I was thinking more like you could like crash it. And still be able to field swap, but it's like pretty, pretty costly at that point. So, mm -hmm. and then it's just not good enough. I feel like Probably it's a one. one. Yeah. Yeah. Next up, Next zero, zero Matsuri. When this card is placed on stage from hand, if you have two or more other Lily characters, you may draw one card if you do discard one. Pay one, put the top card of your deck into clock. When this card is placed on stage from hand. You may pay the cost if you do search your deck for up to one cost zero Lily character whose level is equal or lower than your level and place it on stage in any slot. Shuffle your deck afterwards. Wow. It's a Ricky, kind of Ricky, that 
is also a hand fix when you play it. It's a pretty decent second effect, but not. Yeah. But it's not as good as like how some Ricky's get like this plus stock as yeah. a second effect. Yeah. Um, Broad is significantly worse than stock. I don't. I, I feel like the green one. I think I think the green thing is better. The green card. Yeah. The clock bomb. Yeah. That one has a better secondary effect than this. Yeah, for sure. Uh, this then, is also one k. This is tiny, even for level zeros. So. I'm not, I'm not a least. fan of these kind of kind of rickies because you have to mm -hmm. if you want a level one you have to play a level one, which means it yeah. takes up a slot in your board, and it reduces the effectiveness that Rickies usually have, the time effectiveness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you usually don't want to summon this at level zero. Yep. Uh, it like is still a plus two. with secondary effect, yeah, two. Yeah. Next up, zero, zero, Momo, climax combo, discard one, Miriam's book climax, so the three, two, Miriam's climax uh, when this card is placed on stage from hand, you may pay the cost if you do choose one level two or higher character from your waiting room and add it to hand and then resonate with the three, two Miriam, uh, pay one, look it up to three cards from the top of your deck, choose up to one Lily character from among them, show it to your opponent, add it to hand and send the rest to waiting room. Okay. Okay. So this what is probably a... like the biggest reason why you play resonate stuff. Isn't it just weird? Wait. Oh, sorry. I misread. I'm so sorry. For some reason, I thought it was a climax you reveal for the second effect, which would be really weird, but it's not okay. Yeah, this is this is, this is good, or like this is these like pretty good engine, I think. But but it's like, so yeah, it's not bad. It's definitely not bad, but it's like you had a brainstorm. That's true. Yeah, the brainstorm is really good. So, but this is you um, probably play this over a brainstorm with playing the random engine just because yeah, it has two relevant effects. Mm -hmm. You can play that whole engine. Uh, three? three? Yeah. Three. three yeah, if, if the engine's good, then yeah, it's good. Definitely auto include that engine. Yep. Next up, one zero Yu Yu. When this card is placed on stage from hand, if you have another Lily character, it gets plus 2,000 power for the turn. When this card attacks, if you have another Lily character and the level of the character across from this is two, this turn, this card gets plus 4,500 power. So it's 11 it's doesn't... K against level. 11k? No, it's. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just 6.5. Uh, the uh, memory variants are 12k, right? Memory variants, 12.5s. 12.5s, yeah, okay. That... I feel like this doesn't get big enough to be good. Yeah. It doesn't really get that big, but it's like. decent. There's, there, there are power pumps. But... Yeah, we've seen a bunch of power pumps, specifically for blue as well. But, um, yeah. I think this is fine. It's just like... Um, I think I prefer mm, the memory. Yeah, one. most tutus only sit at 11k anyway, so it's like it forces them to counter Yeah, a lot of times. And you usually don't get like assist until level 2. Mm -hmm. It's costless. If you don't face a standby deck, it's still a decent body. Uh, it's probably a 2, though. Yeah. Next card. One zero my. When this card is placed on stage from hand, look at the top card of your deck and put it on the top or bottom of your deck. When this card is placed on stage from hand this turn, this gets plus X power. X equals the number of your Lily characters times 500. Deja vu? I, I, I feel like we've seen so many of these <laughs> cards. Yeah, it's just like another pack filler, I feel like. Like yeah. I feel like the other one the card just before is better in this most of the yeah. time. It's the one. So probably just one, yeah. Yeah. Next up, one one Miriam. If the character across from this is caught zero, it gets plus one level and plus thirty five hundred power. And it has the at the start of your encore step. If you do not have any other rested characters in your front row, you may pay cost to rest this. Mm. So another standby con target. Off color, worse than standby mirrors. Yes. Better than non standby mirrors. Yep. Mm. Mm. Then this is just fine. Okay, I guess. It's an okay, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Probably just two. Another yeah. standby, generic standby target. 
Next up, zero 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 UU. Discard one card. When this card is placed on stage from hand, you may pay cost. If you do search your deck for up to one TD, one zero Riri Climax combo, uh, and then add it to hand, shuffle your deck. Rest this to choose one of your Lily characters, and it gets plus 1,500 power. Oh. Yeah, this is this nice. Yeah. It, this is the reason why you actually ever consider a TD combo. Yeah. This is nice. Um... I more playable than other combos? Probably not. Yeah, probably not, but... Uh... It, it definitely makes that budget mm -hmm. aspect. Mm, I... Give it two. Yeah. Two's Thanks, card. Oh no, I need a sneeze. Plus, someone clip that. You waste it. <laughs> oh, I'm muted, oh I'm muted, my guys. God. I'm muted, chat. Don't worry. Oh my god. What cheater. Bless you. Thank you, thank you. Holy allergies? I don't know. Allergic coffee, man. Zero, zero, Miriam. When this card is placed on stage from hand, reveal the top card of your deck. If that card is a Lily character, choose one of your char characters, and it gets plus 2,000 power. Discard one Lily character. When this card is placed on stage from hand, you may pay the cost. If you do, draw a card. Yo, you, you're, gonna, you, you know, you're gonna know if you hit or not, and you're also gonna know what you're gonna draw with a brainstorm. Nice. Um, yeah, this is nice. Like, pretty solid utility for the set. Man, Brainstorm does so much. <laughs> yeah, it does. Man. This is, it's still just two, probably, but... Yeah, it's still probably just two. Uh, I feel like otherwise it would be like a one, right? It's just like... Yeah, if yeah. you didn't get knowledge, it's probably yeah. one. Next so, yeah. up, zero, 0 Mai and Miriam. Your other Slilly character in the front row center slot gets 1,500 power. Whoa. Someone's popping off outside. Pay to rest this. Search your deck for up to one Lily character. Show it to your opponent, add it to hand, and shuffle your deck afterwards. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Right. 1,500 power could be clutch, like, nice, but, like, you know. The other effect is not. Now, Buddha only ran theirs because they had the, the bodyguard. Yeah. This one does, you, know, you got that bodyguard luxury in this set. Yeah, of course. Like a one, I guess. Yeah. I feel like this is a one. The pay two is always quite expensive most games. Yeah. Next, Next up, card. zero zero my uh, climax combo when the blue stock soul uh, climax is placed on your climax area. Very cute climax art. Uh, it, and if you have two or more other Lily characters, look it up to four cards from the top of your deck. Choose up to one Lily character from among them. Show it to your opponent. Add it to hand. Send the rest to waiting room. And it's a brainstorm. Uh, fli uh, pay one. Flip over the top four cards of your deck for each climax hit. Search your deck for a Lily character. Show it to, show it to your opponent. Add it to hand. And discard one. So it's spammable. You can use it as many times as you want. But you do not gain cards out of it. It just goes one for one. What have you done? Magro combos, you're on attack before. But yeah. I think this is. It's one of the decent. better level zero combos. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it, yeah, this is pretty decent for a level zero combo. But it's like, it does take up a CX slot versus the Yeah, elements. of course. You'd have to like build around this, I think. Um, the CX itself is like. I'm not a big fan of stocks, those personally. Uh, yeah, I, I, I think it's like I think it's nice with the brainstorm, like it because it's more brainstorm though. So yeah, it has a good sound. Want that stock? Yeah. Mm. I don't know. Uh, I actually don't see where we play this too often. Yeah, it's like it's like two one. It's like nice, but doesn't do enough to warrant a CX lot. Yeah, fair enough. Like, it could be bumped up just because of a uh, spammable brainstorm, so it's nice every so often. Uh, you could possibly, nah, I mean, it's just it's just super niche. Yeah, mm -hmm. probably yeah. Like a two. Two of best. Yeah. Do you imagine if the standby was the thing that comboed this? Ah, feels bad. Opportunity. Oh, missed. Whoa, missed opportunity. whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> well, there. Whoa. 
Uh, next up, zero zero U U. Discard one Lily character. When this card is placed on stage from hand, you may pay the cost. If you do, search your deck for the one one red event we saw earlier. One of the spicy ones. Show it to your opponent, add the hand, and shuffle your deck afterwards. Not the spicier one, but one of the spicy ones. And uh, when this card attacks, you may mill one. If that card is a climax, draw one, ditch one. Uh, this is not good enough to run that card. <laughs> what do we rate the event again? Like two? Yeah. This is probably just two because it's ties along. Wait, no, we gave it a one. No, I think we gave Did it we a give it two. one? Yeah, I think we gave it a sure. one. No, we gave the event it's a two. Just a one. We gave it one two. Okay. This is all just twos, I guess. Dude, most cards in West just twos. Yeah, it's true. Hashtag two for life. Two for life. Printing those t-shirts right now. Two shorts. Uh, next next card. up, zero zero my. If you have two or less stock, it gets plus fifteen hundred power. Uh, discard one card when this card attacks. You may pay the cost if you do. Choose one of your other Lily characters and return it to hand. Wow, so many. Hmm. Uh, I don't think these types of effects good either. Yeah. Uh, usually, what you want to use this for is to loop cards, and usually want to loop your level one combos. But the fact that this itself is small in terms of level one means you're playing. Yeah, you'll have to end up playing. crashing it. Kind of feels bad. Mm, I, I I personally do not play this profile, so I probably just give it a one. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. Not big enough to be a wall by itself either. Next card. Uh, one zero my all of your other two one UU vanillas picture again we don't review vanillas gain the following two abilities when this card attacks this turn it gets plus x power x equals the number of your other back row uh lily characters times 2000 and hand encore uh holy this is a long effect this ability activates up to once per turn when your other 2-1 vanilla is placed on stage from hand perform one of the following two effects choose up to one lily character in your waiting room and send it to stock or reveal the top card of your deck if that card is a lily character add it to hand come on once per turn oh. yeah if it's another once per turn holy then you can just oh. spam out to get a bunch of pluses or stock <laughs> damn <laughs> I, I think yeah, once, once per turn really holds it yeah i think so too I, I, this just isn't good enough it's like cute but like probably it's just not good it's definitely an option it wasn't once per turn yeah. But for now, it's like a one. Yeah. I Not agree. some kind of amazing, like, Gotoben with their vanilla. Would he get like a 14 to 5 vanilla? Mm -hmm. 2 2. Feels bad, yeah. Definitely missed opportunity here. Uh, next up, 1 0 UU for each of your opponent's back row characters. It gets 1500 power and it has Hanokor. Uh, no, no filler, filler is level 1. Just a one. 1. Yeah. <laughs> Next card. Two one Shinobi. When this card attacks, choose one of your other characters. This turn it gets plus X power. X equals the number of your Lily characters times five hundred. And then pay one at the start of your of the encore step. If you do not have any other rested characters in your front row, you may pay cost if you do rest this. Uh that are filler. Yeah. I think I like the hand encore variant so this kind of effect more. Yeah. To be honest. So yeah, uh, it's just like a one. Yeah. Don't play this. Next up, uh -huh. not a long event effect. Feels bad. 2-3 event. Choose one of your opponent's characters. This turn it gets minus 3 soul. Mm. Hey! A playable event. Soul. Much better than the other events for sure. Uh, I if agree. If you play 8 standby, you could probably play this. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. Uh, you also probably play this. You could be married. You could play this in the Icy Tail deck too, right? Icy Tail? No, I think you don't get enough stock at the end. Yeah, I think so. Uh, like the, if you don't play the restander, if you don't play, if you don't happen to play the restander, like right. Oh, you don't play the restander. Yeah, you can play this. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. Well, I feel like it's mainly for your eight standby decks yeah. if you do yeah. play that. Yeah. That's true. Two three though, it's nice. Two three. Mm -hmm. Good thing. Two three is nice. Yeah. Uh. Three. Sure. Like two. Yeah, we'll three, three. I think a three is one. I yeah. like this. If the standby deck is good, I think this gets bumped. Or like, yes, yes. standby yeah. deck does nothing, then it gets debumped. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. 
Oh, okay. Only one blue event. All right. So we typically don't take a break right now. We do the promos. Uh, and then we'll take the final intermission. Uh, oh, yeah, there's so, so many promos. Hold on to your seats. Is there a lot of promos? Yeah, there's a lot. Of I, I don't know if she did the reprint promos. Some of the promos like reprints of cards we saw already. Oh, okay. Then we'll just, yeah. we can just move through this fast then. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there's like 10 reprint. bucks. Uh, when this just card is placed on stage from hand, mill two, if there is a climax among those cards, choose one of your characters, it gets plus 1500 power, and then you may discard one card, send this to waiting room to choose one Lily character from your waiting room and add it to hand. It's all right. Uh, generic two. <laughs> yeah. Generic. Boom. One zero Tazusa, when this card's trigger check reveals a gold bar climax, choose one character from your waiting room, you may add it to hand. So this card's trigger. And when this is reversed to the battle opponent's cost is zero or lower, you may send the top card of your opponent's clock to waiting room if you do send that character to clock. Yeah. If only... Okay, well... Yeah, uh, top man. deck knowledge, though, so it's like, you know... That's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this, but this it's is also... the, payoff, the payoff you play eight, eight bars. For eight bars, yeah. Eh. Uh, I think it's still like a two. Two? Okay, sure. Yeah. But, I mean, what do you... Oh, I like... You, do you think it's a three? I think it's three. If eight bars is good, you mm. can definitely play okay. this. I see. Alright, I, 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 I like the three I'm rating. I think if the, eight, yeah, if the eight bar is good, this card is a just a plus on a plus, man. It's pretty good. Next up, 2-1 Shen Lin. When this card attacks, this gets X power. X equals the number of your characters your opponent controls times a thousand. Oh. Panel for me. Discard green, green card hand. Card. Card. Can discard oh. climaxes. But you you already have the level one for discard relics. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, having your opponent's character is kind of cringe. So, <laughs> uh, probably just oh. one. Oh yeah, no! It's opponent's characters, yeah. Oh no! So you um, can't even control okay. this card's power. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, it's a one. It's a one. Okay. Next card. Next up, zero zero Kaide. When this card attacks, reveal the top card of your deck. If that card is a Lily character, add the hand and discard one. This ability activates up to once per turn. When this card is reversed, reveal the top card of your deck. If that card is level two or higher, you may rest this. Uh, you have other better plus and zeros in red. Yeah. Uh, first spec's nice, but it doesn't break it. Probably a one still. Yeah. Uh, during your turn, this 1-0 Riri gets 500 power for each of your other Lily characters, making it attack for 8,000. And all of your opponent's characters get Clock on Core. Uh, really bad. One. I think it's a one, <laughs> Zero yeah. possible. Uh, we, we can't just leave it unrated, I guess. But we will not, <laughs> because we need to re-review. 2-1 uh, Fumi. When this card is placed on stage from hand, reveal the top card of your deck. If that card revealed is a level 0 or lower character, put it into stock. When your other battling character is reversed, choose one of your Lily characters and it gets 3,000 power. Mm, pretty awkward. Uh, it, it I feel like it doesn't case, do enough. It right? doesn't do enough. Yeah. If it had so, one more effect that was good, I think it would be close. But like, Yeah, but currently it's just the one, I think. Yeah. Next card. Zero, zero, Miriam. Uh, when this card is placed on stage from hand, mill two, if there is a level zero or lower character from among them, uh, this turn, this does not suffer soul penalty when side attacking. And when this card is placed on stage from hand, all of your opponent's front row characters get minus 500 power. Oh my goodness, it pops multiple Asuna Rickies. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, but, uh, but yeah, like two, there's like two filler effects on this. Uh, near, like, significantly impactful. Yeah, I mean, uh, slime ran this because of Psychono. Psychono is dead now, so. But it also slime ran it because it's also Shimakai. That's true. Uh, That's true. This doesn't really help you too much. It's probably one. Yeah, I think I agree. Next up, one one Mai. Uh, when you use this card's backup, mill the top three cards of your deck. It's a two thousand power one one backup. Uh, there's better backups that we've seen so far. This card doesn't see play. That's a one. <laughs> Yeah. 2-1 Yu Yu at the start of your opponent's attack phase. You may pay the cost if you do choose one of your Lily characters. And this card, stand them and swap their positions. And it is a bottom deck 
anti-change, so level higher than your opponent's current level, bomb. Not as good as the clock bomb. Probably. Not as good as clock bomb. It's not as good as Yoshino from Day Alive. But you probably play this. It's probably not a bad choice if you play eight standby. Mm -hmm. Sure, yeah. Just to stand by down and like, do cute stuff with the field swap. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I'd probably give it a two. Mm -hmm. All right, so a QR code. Wow. Uh, I'm just not going to review that. What a mobile game. And then these are... No, wait. Do we review these? I guess. Yeah. If you have two or uh, less climaxes in the waiting room, this card gets minus one level in hand, and it's a vanilla healer. Uh, worse than the other one we saw. Yes. Yeah. One. Yeah. Maybe two, because it's red. Sure. You don't want to play... Fair enough, yeah. Next card. When this card is placed on stage from hand, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a Lily character, add it to your hand and discard a card at 0, zero Riri. And uh, when this card attacks, choose one of your other characters this turn. It gets plus 1,000 power. This isn't bad. It's, it's not horrible. Yeah, it's like decent. Like, doesn't do enough to warn slots, in my opinion. Uh, well, it, like there aren't that many costless discard outlets, right? True, true. And you have like top deck knowledge. You know what you're getting, so it's like... Mm -hmm. Um, I feel like it's good enough for it for like a two, probably. But... Yeah, sure. You can, yeah. you can get a two. Yeah. If we pump one k, it would be way better. I mean, if we can yeah. pump two k. Yeah, yeah, of course. Sure. Next up, zero zero Riri. Uh, when this card is placed on stage for hand, reveal the top card of your deck. If that card is a Lily character, add it to hand and discard one. Oh, it is a level oh, this zero. Is <laughs> what the? I got tricked. I got bamboozled. This is Trick. better. Uh, this is literally. Oh my god. Trick. Okay, can we, can we, can we take, it one? take it back. Take it back. The last card's a one. It's right. a two. Retroactively going back, putting a <laughs> one here. And then oh my here. god. <laughs> Second effect this is way better. Yeah, I agree. This card's better. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Got tricked, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> so two, right? Yeah, this is two. This is two. Art is better too. This is a foil version of that card. All right. Oh, there is a lot of PRs. At the start of the climax phase, choose one of your Lily characters. It gets one thousand power. Really? Yeah. But it's tap two, oh, but it's a tap two. A tap two for Lily characters. Uh, definitely worse than the other brainstorm we got. Yeah. So it's yeah. probably one. Yeah, I agree. Unfortunate when you have a brainstorm that strong, it's hard to uh, come back from that. Woo, QR. Uh, triple character PR. If the number of cards in your stock is two or less, this Wait. card gets plus one level and plus 1,000 power. It's like a two, I guess. Probably a one, just because you have better red plusing. Triple name, though. Yeah, that's, that's, that's how I'm going to destroy oh, you guys name, on yeah. stream game. It's yeah. a Blu-ray PR, though. You expect, you it's know, a, you expect yeah, it's a Blu-ray PR. You're going to get beer by four of all of these, Yo, dude. I, I'm a you know buy. how expensive? <laughs> Yo, don't test me, Kevin. I'm a buy the Blu-rays just to win games on stream. All right, one is it? You're not going to win games. Six for art, seven for dice. Uh, zero, zero, triple name. Blu-ray. At the start of your opponent's attack phase, you may choose a character in your opponent's front row and move it to an empty position in their front row. This is not as good as the Red Runner. Nope. It moves your opponent's character. Oh! Oh my god! Yeah, you can move, the, you can move their back rows. Right? No, you have to choose a character in your opponent's front row. No, I have to in the front row. Uh, it's triple name. One. Still. <laughs> Nice. Nice. It's what I'm gonna use to destroy everyone. What? Next up, triple name. I'll pay one. Put the top card oh, of your deck into clock. When this card is placed on stage from hand, you may pay the cost. If you do, look at up to three cards from the top of your deck. Choose up to one character from among them. Show it to your opponent. And add it to hand and send the rest to waiting room. Yeah, it's one of the more playable triple names. But it's still oh, by the way, I, I should let you know these are all different P PRs from different Blu-rays. So you're gonna buy twelve Blu-rays, bro. It's. I'm already done, bro. Uh, uh, After the stream, I'm gonna pre-order these Blu-rays right now. A, yeah, you're the biggest Assault Lily fan. Uh, <laughs> it's just, uh, this is like a. Uh, this it's is, more playable like, the other two, I think. Yeah, but it's not that much more playable. Did you ever play this? I feel like probably I'm, not. Versus the other Ricky. It. Yeah. It's just the one. Yeah. 
I think so too. You guys are just rating all the important cards that I need for my deck as a one. Uh, one zero, you and Rui Blue Ray PR for each of your other Lily characters. It gets five hundred power. It's a one, I get it, baby. Oh, it's cool. a one. It's a one. That's your first fourth Blue Ray you buy. Yeah. All right. Sixteen total. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I don't need that one. I can get the, the cards with this name. I don't need this one, man. I don't need to buy Dude, 16. Bro. I don't think you can play this deck unless you have, unless literally all of your cards are multi name, bro. <laughs> I, I, I mean, it's uh, 10 subs, dude. 10 subs. Nah, Whatever. bro. I, it's lit. A 1 1 Kaida and Riri. When you use this card's backup, reveal the top card of your deck. If that card is a Lily character, add it to hand, discard one. Uh, 2000 power, 1 1 backup, leave a counter. That's what we call it. Is one of the better PRs, finally. It's like a two. I like believe counters two. are solid. Yeah. I mean, the counters are always solid. I like yeah. these a lot at level one because it does give you that like little bit more cancel chance, but it's not the yes. card reviewer. I spoke yeah. out of turn, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, you did. One zero Yu Yu and Mai. During your opponent's turn, all of your other Lily characters get plus 1000 power. And when a Lily character is placed on stage from hand, you may look at the top card of your deck <laughs> dude it, the second effect's basically useless because the brainstorm <laughs> bruh uh, uh okay, i don't care opponent's I, turn mm. i don't i don't think that's good enough though yeah you don't have any combo to stay 6k cross turn like goblin slayer yeah and you wouldn't play this in standby i don't think so yeah you have better back rows you'd rather summon out in standby yeah. Probably, Probably just the one. one. <sighs> double name, though. Oh, double name, yo. It's true. first. Wow. Zero, zero, Riri. Uh, all of your other Lily characters get plus 500 power. And when your opponent's climax is placed on the climax area, you may send this to stock. Alizization has this card, right? But you don't play it. I don't even know, man. <laughs> I <honestly laughs> don't even know, bro. Um. Uh... I don't. Why would you play this? Yo, we're playing. We're playing 2016 against AOT, and we field this front row. Ah, <laughs> and make Eddie. our other cards weaker as well. Uh, it's a one. Probably a one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> zero zero UU. This card cannot side attack when this card is placed on stage from hand mill two. And uh, it gets X power. X equals the number of your Lily characters mill times 1,000. Yeah, I remember what? when a card like this was like, well, that's like a $40 PR in Psychono. Uh, <laughs> I... Uh, you, you have probably, better modern tools yeah. than this. Yeah, it's it's so a one now. It's, it's no longer the same as Psychono. Yeah. Okay, there's uh, just too many, man. When this card is placed on stage from hand, choose one of your other Lily characters, it gets 2,000 power. Uh, better one. power pumps. One. Better, better power pumps, even. It's yeah, a one. And that's it! Oh! Oh! We're finally done. <laughs> oh, I goodness. told you there are a ton of PRs, man. Oh! <gasps> All right, everyone. Told you. Uh, so we have reached the end of the fourth episode of the best ever way shorts set review show with my constant co-host tom and today's special guest kevin from wild wild waste thank you so much for being on the show oh, my oh, friend oh, oh. this is now your floor uh for shout outs for uh, anything you want to say uh take hey. it away man shout outs to my local group wild wild waste we do content in our own twitch stream but we're not too active ever since covid started uh, shout out for Noble T TCG, obviously. We wouldn't be able to do this without them. Also, shout out for uh, Weiss Tea Time. They're the one who makes all these slides for us. And their website's really good. I, I help work with her a lot to get these translations for you guys. So I'm pretty familiar with her. Uh, I also use this a ton, Weiss Tea Time, just to keep track of what's been released <laughs> and announced. Uh, other than that, uh maybe we'll have a dance match tournament if you didn't know i also helped host the trios cup and best run trios cup these My two down below both came second in that tournament somehow 
<laughs> somehow, somehow, <laughs> bro. Dude, somehow. Oh my god, Kevin. It's because you yeah, didn't play, though. It. We, we got it. Yeah, easy I didn't, uh... yeah. Anime <laughs> Evil Champion didn't play. You Wait, the 3 3 event can't mill a climax. Wait, what's 3 3 event? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The 3 3. Dude, the... you're never gonna. You're... Wait, why can't it mill a climax? <laughs> You, 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 you have to mill nine running? characters. Wait, what? Because multi-name characters can't you can't use one card to have three names in multi-name cards. That's how it works. It also requires you to mill nine characters. Wait, really? Like it literally says you have to mill nine characters. Yes. <laughs> nice. It's Free a ten, cringe. ten subs, bro. Ten subs. Ten subs. It's Easy. a cringe. <laughs> All right, but Ke sorry, we interrupted Kevin. Uh, I'm sorry. sorry. Yeah. Anything else you want to say? No, I think that's pretty much it for my shoutouts. Sounds good, man. Uh, again, just to reiterate, shoutouts to Waste Tea Time. Like Kevin, I use her blog as a resource uh, because I can't read or write Japanese. And then Nova TCG uh, for all of the singles. I can't order from Japan in a timely manner at, a, at the moment. So Nova TCG is pretty helpful with that. Um, yeah, no EMS. Feels yeah, bad. Feels bad, man. Uh, and uh, Mr. Thomas, anything you want to say before we wrap up the show and go uh, to the final intermissions? Final, I guess. Yeah, I mean, shout out to Nova TCG and Wise Tea Time, and of course, Strictly Broken TCG for all of the above. All right, everyone. All thank you for being on today's show. The show is growing every time we do an episode. I really appreciate the community engagement. I uh, appreciate all the guests that come on, like Kevin, uh, Ryan, uh, Ken, and Kuhn so far. And if you want to be on a guest, if you want to be a guest on the show, feel free to send a message to either Nova TCG, Waste Tea Time, Strictly Broken TCG, UA, or Thomas M on Discord. That's uh, the Great Seedling or um, 4X. No, no, not 4X. It is uh, what's your name right now? X X Card. I don't know. On the Card Games Discord. I'm gonna make Discord username yeah, is 4X. Yeah, oh, it is 4X. Yeah. Well, whatever. whatever just you can message any of us if you want to be on the sh one of the future episodes for a set anyways take care everyone we'll be doing the final debriefings i need to go to the washroom and relieve myself brb all right i want to see broderick on, on these yeah for sure there's definitely gonna, there has to be a set where he had pretty well pretty well passed by he would yeah that is unfortunate on. yeah When are we having playset giveaways? The, um, it'll be for the. I don't know if you caught the beginning of the stream, Coring Box, but um, it, it'll be the stream where I play Ken and the um, Shiny Colors Conquest thing. So if you're watching the stream when that happens, then you'll be entered in. And we'll reveal more details like later, obviously, in the announcement. But basically, um, the giveaway is tied to that stream of that uh of those games that we play. What are we usually doing this debriefing anyway? Uh, I mean if chat has any questions. Yeah, the shiny mask the shiny mask match will be on this channel, yeah. <laughs> um any like unanswered questions from the last time we took an intermission, you know, talk with chat a little bit. Alright. Um All right. Give us if some there's questions. nothing, yeah, also cast up, catch up on like follows and subs. I think UA will do that. But uh, if there's nothing else, then. Who would win on a fist fight free from? I mean, who? Who's who's in that fist fight? Yeah. Who, who is who? Also, thank you, Vandel. Van. Vand. Vand. Delcha 70 for the follow. Appreciate it. Who would win in a fist fight though? Guys, guys, guys. Have you seen Ryan's muscles? Yeah, Ryan works out. He's a swole lad. I don't know if he still works. Yeah, he still goes for runs and everything. Man's a swole lad, but he's also like small. How's graphics? We don't talk about that class.
doesn't say nine characters, but you know. No, Tom, you're cringe. You're such a cringe lord, bro. What? You don't need to mill That's nine characters, bro. You need to mill separately nine characters. Mill separately a character, a character, a character, a character, a character. So you do you have to mill nine characters? Because you can't use like a try name as. Oh three my cards. god, you're it's right. Specified. You need to mill separately these nine characters with... <laughs> Bro. Ah, I don't want to give 10 subs, man. How much is 10 subs, anyway? It's like Dude, that's 20 like, bucks. 25 bucks. That's my dinner at Uncle Willie's, bro. Wait, is it 25? <laughs> it might be 50. It's 50 uh, bucks. Oh, nice. Oh. 50 <laughs> bucks? I can eat Uncle Willie's, man. Sucks to be you. I hope no one clipped it. Uh, no one in chat clipped it, right? If they didn't clip it then, they're definitely gonna clip it like after this is over. Well, they could do that. Yo, delete the VOD, delete the VOD. It's already clipped. Look at that, it's already clipped. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, by the way, I do need to say before we... Again, if you want to win a free Idol Master Shiny Colors playset. Tune into the 1v1 showdown we're going to have between two special people. Uh, where they play Conquest for the, just the units. And if you tune into that stream, watch it. Uh, you can win a playset, a free playset of Idol Master Shiny, uh, of Idol Master Shiny Colors. So definitely we'll be announcing more on that this weekend. And it will probably happen sometime next week or the week after. Oh, okay. I, leaked all, I leaked that uh, I'm playing, so... Oh, you you play to... zero events and you aim to to activate three of these and win. Zero CXs, I mean. Easy, right? Wait, you can't even mill this event itself. Oh, no, you can't. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> mill nine, mill zero CX, zero events. It's a cringe. Dude, the odds must be like 0.1% around there. No, it's doable. It's doable. Just trust. Wait, it's actually basically impossible. Yes. Just close your eyes. Tony and Zystro Loser has to play Batman Ninja for a year. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm crying a little bit. <laughs> and like all the triple names are Blu-rays. <laughs> it's gonna be the most expensive meme deck ever. <laughs> Even with the Blu-rays, now that I know it's nine different characters, I'm pretty sure this is just impossible. I mean, the flavor's there. If you watch the anime, it's definitely flavorful. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Dude, I'm screwed, <laughs> man. Anyways, we'll got five more minutes for any questions for Kevin. And, uh... Or Tom. I'm just gonna be silent. I'm pretty triggered right now. I mean, it's definitely possible. But that that possibility is very low. Just don't waste your money buying PRs to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're already buying for for Blu-rays, you know, one to keep, one to use, one to lend, and the second one to keep in case the first one breaks. If you somehow love Assault Lily that much to buy four, four Blu rays. Man, why couldn't it just say if you, if you hit this, you win the game? <laughs> That's probably <laughs> a lot better. <laughs> Burn two four times doesn't even guarantee you win. Luck and Logic BDs has four times. Oh, okay. So they had a playset, a Blu-ray. Okay, that's that's fine then. Oh, 
All right, any other questions? One shiny, three base. I don't think we saw shinies for these, but shinies would be nice. Those those are were top tier for triples. But like I saw Lily wasn't really that good an anime to buy Blu-ray for. What's the probability of this hitting? I don't know. Ask someone who cares about math like ENTCG. Just ping him. Lower than FGO's SSR rates, probably. What? Make a program and calculate this? Dude, there's no, no profit in doing that. Show the goods. I don't think there's any censored scenes in the Blu rays when I was watching it. All it was is just like focusing, focusing on the bare legs constantly. And then all the bath scenes are all wearing towels. Kind of cringe, but yeah. Kind of like the school assignment. Yeah, dude, if you love legs, you watch the Salt Lily. That's all that's all it's good for. I think we'll be wrapping it up now. It's almost eight. Thank you again, Kevin, for being on. We'll wrap yeah. it up. Say um guess um, It's a fun time here, for sure. And thank you so much, man. Uh and I'm gonna wrap it up. Yeah, I'm just gonna All right. Is there anyone I could host? Probably not. See you guys. Thanks for tuning See in. Ya. On the best ever. Wait, short set review show. Where's my thing? I can't find it. Show.